Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in to this special edition of the... It's the regular Tuesday podcast! We're doing it on a Tuesday. Dave, stop lying, everyone. Okay. We lying. we told them we don't record it on Tuesday. Yeah, on the, the first, first episode, and are... you're the one who outed us. Are we recording? We are recording. Okay. Hey! <laughs> so... hey, let's go around and explain who everyone is so that we, we don't spoil the surprise. I'm Malcolm Cabrera. We got, we got over there on the other side. We got... Who are you looking at? Me? I'm looking, I'm looking, looking at me? Looking Little old me? Charles Elphick over here. <laughs> and I'm Dave <getting> Weir. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that nice of an intro, but I'm, I'm ordering everyone pizza so they can all go suck a nut. And um, today we have a special guest. His yeah. name is... It's, it's Ryan. Oh! I sound like Patrick Starr sometimes. <laughs> That's that's actually on his resume. It is on my resume. Sounds like Patrick. Kathy Lee like told Patrick me to take stuff. it off. Ooh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so by the well, <laughs> Dave, maybe stop asking questions under your breath. Sorry, I just I didn't want it to be. I'm, okay, I'm ordering a pizza. Want to make sure everyone's thirsty, like that's thirsty. Dave's very considerate. I'm always so thirsty. So now, who wants pizza? Yeah, yeah. I'm always. Thirsty. We already we already decided on the pizza. We're in two. But, but who wants pizza? I'm asking. Just in general, for everybody. There's, Dave's pain. There's no no. You can't say no to pizza. <laughs> it's no true. That's like sacrilegious. You know what? Do we need blasphemy. two pizzas? I don't no, know. Probably not. Well, I mean, that's clearly enough for me, but I don't know about the rest of you. Okay, we're gonna do. One. Well, I mean, I could put a full pizza back, but I'm not going. I to think food. all of us could. Yeah. 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 So four. So four. So four pizzas. Four pizzas. <laughs> okay, so we're going four pizzas. Uh, all right. This is compelling stuff right here. All, all right. on Dave. I'm gonna make it. Anyways. I made an extra. <laughs> okay. Okay. I made an extra. Anyways. Uh yeah, so we had our first podcast already. That was pretty well received. Dave Dave was uh walking with me in the hallways. He was like, if this reaches a hundred views in a week, I'll I forgot what your your I, I, I'd well, be very surprised. Last That's time I checked, it was at like sixty six. Honestly, Ooh. I checked today and it was uh Ooh. it was almost at eighty. Like we're in like two days. Ooh, now. And That's then, insane. But like, how many times have you guys been watching this? I've only watched stuff? it. I like you're, it only counts if you go all the way through. I think. Oh really? yeah. no, it yeah. doesn't. It does. It counts no if you way. go all the way through because, like, it'll garner as a view, but it won't be registered as a view until someone goes all the way through. So it'll say, like, 66, but then if you go back, like, later in the day, it'll say 63 because no one finished that mm. full video, right? Uh, okay. So they only it only registers when you go all the way through. So Ryan counts as a full view. Hey. Ryan listened to it <laughs> all the way through. Because I'm just a good guy. First. <laughs> Which is why what, if you, like, what if you stop, like, you're listening and then you stop? And then you come back. And you to come it? back to it and resume, and no, then stop that's... again, and then because that's what I did. I think that would count as. I cannot listen. Like I do not like to listen to us. <laughs> well, no, I, I sound like that's assholes. good that someone on the podcast doesn't like listening to the podcast. That's that's, that's, a, that's a great sign. That's a great. <laughs> yeah. That's a great take on it. That's, you know, I believe in that. That's what you want. All right. Anyway, so by the time this comes out, it will have been a whole week without a podcast because I'm not releasing it regularly. You. What about the last one we recorded? That one came out. What's this week? No, not the first one. We did oh, the a last second one. one. The last one we recorded was uh, the the audio was kind of crap. So okay, it's not so out. let's just forget you about mean, that. Yeah, you mean our awesome Ghostbusters. Uh, our awesome Ghostbusters review is not in there. Goosebumps. Ghostbusters. It's Goosebumps. Ghost Beach. Well, technically, since no one has heard it, it could have been about anything. So. <laughs> well, Dave. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Halloween passed. How was Halloween, you guys? Oh, fuck. How was Halloween for you guys? I love that Ryan and Sleep just like, oh. Opa. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we don't want to talk about that. I'm not talking about my Halloween. You're not talking about your Halloween? I already know. I'm just All like, right. cut it out. I'll, I'll talk about my <laughs> Halloween. It's not interesting. How I, was your Halloween? I stayed popular? at home. Uh, I ate candy, and no one showed oh, up at my house. So really? it was like I, a regular, I found, a regular I found that it was day. really slow for on the Halloween front, like trick or treating. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. it was since raining. Like, since like 2008, it's been shitty. Well, and plus it since was on I a stopped. Saturday, so yeah, since I stopped, <laughs> since I stopped, Halloween hasn't been the same. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I, 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 honestly, I would agree. Like, like back in the day, did you guys just love like? Halloween because you had that party at school. Oh yeah. Oh, and you yeah. got to dress up in your costume and then you went on like did you guys like my elementary school we had a parade? What? Okay. Oh yeah. Where I've it was done, like, yeah, I've done where that it was like each like, grade. Like, where it was like kindergartners to grade like three. Because grade four kids, that's too when cool. you that's when you get to that age yeah, where you're right. like nine to ten, you're like, nah, I'm too cool. No, nah, I'm not fuck. gonna take I'm not gonna take a s I'm not gonna smile when I take a picture with Santa because Santa's not real. 
Fuck I didn't know. Whoa. 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 Even I caught myself Whoa. and was like, wow, I just ruined some kid's day. But if a kid is yeah. listening to this, your parents need to, like, you need to reevaluate. Right you need to reevaluate. <laughs> teaching methods, their parenting methods. Alright, so I'm placing an order. It's an extra large pepperoni. <laughs> Dave's, <laughs> Dave's that obviously starving. That is not a segue. That is starving. not a segue, Dave. That doesn't you know happen. what? You know what is a segue? Have you guys heard about that fan theory? That like the new Star Wars fan theory? No. no. Apparently, Jar Jar Binks was no. like. No, I don't want to. hear I'm it. already done. With I don't, it. I'm done. With but it. like the thing is, no, Jar Jar you, Binks. You said the word that is basically Star Wars cancer, and you can't <laughs> say that and then expect someone to want to listen to it afterwards. That is true. But Jar Jar Binks <laughs> is apparently. Stop like a sith lord that is the theory oh and he's on. i know how that's dumb equivalent is... to like everyone making theories about I that. and he was like apparently he's like a master of this type of like fighting skill that's like the uh like drunken the... master yeah exactly like Didn't drunk... he die in the third one no he was actually the character to vote that palpatine goes into like full power Ooh. so there's another reason to hate jar jar <laughs> because he helped the empire rise to power by being the deciding vote. Are you sure he wasn't just really stupid and that he didn't know what he was voting for? It's all for? a front. That's exactly all it. That's what this That'd theory cool. says. I like, I like this I like this theory. He probably has a very suave English accent. <laughs> well he is played by uh he is played by an English black guy, I think. English black guy. It's yeah. my dad. <laughs> English black guy. You know what English this black guy I'd like to have on the podcast? My dad? Dean? I was gonna say Ryan's dad. Yeah my oh. dad that's awkward. Dean works too. Hey, oh. Dean, if you're listening, you're not. <laughs> Dean's too classy for this shit. Yeah. He's way too classy. You wouldn't come on and, and educate us with. He also doesn't British like bright thing. colors, so. That's really? Cool. What? Yeah. That's a weird thing to know. You're like. lying to me what? about this. I will call Dean right now. No, no. I you don't have that, his number. Save, that, that's very save that for the end of the, the podcast. <laughs> when we do our little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Adam Dean. now? <laughs> Dean. Our, our buddy Adam. <laughs> I love that, like, you cut into it. This is... Oh, they, oh, yo, they prepped that quick. Wow. What's her name? What's her name? Are we name? still on Is it Domino's? Pizza? Yeah. Okay, what's the name? What's the name? Like, so-and-so did your pizza. Yeah, who did my pizza? Yeah, who did our pizza? Last time I had we gotta Priya. call them and tell them not to do like, that put it in the oven. <laughs> oh. Domino's, please don't do our pizzas. It does not. Jeremy. Priya. Section. Oh, Priya. Priya. Priya, Priya. Priya from Domino's, Priya, if you're listening. Priya, you're bae. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan loves bae. you to an extent. If you were making burritos, Ryan, oh, Ryan no. would love you more. I'd, have, oh I'd already slap a ring on Ryan wouldn't be here anymore. I already he would have left like 40 minutes in. We're not even like 40 minutes in. Are you kidding me? With how we talk, we're probably 80 minutes in already. That's true. And we're Seven probably going to cut out 60 of it. Because yeah, because... <laughs> not because of me. I am not saying anything that I'm regretting so far. So that's we're true. That's so true. far. <laughs> so we far. literally just started recording. Yeah. But that's, I'm but not going also... into any YTV tangerines. Like this. <laughs> Tan- you say tangerines? Tangerines. 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 No y- more tangerines, you guys. Let's, no stay, on. YTV Let's tangerines. stay on topic with these tangerines. We're talking about the fruit of the bank. Ooh, <laughs> good question. That is a good question. Speaking of tangerines. There's a bank called Tangerine? Yeah. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> they're a fire bank. I don't Who know. says this? I don't know. Themselves? Pizza, yeah, they, Ryan's yeah. British dad says yeah. this. Hey, he actually did. Don't talk shit. <laughs> he actually said, hey, Ryan, consider getting an account with Tangerine. Ryan, Ryan, what do you think about that first episode? Yeah, outsider. you listen to oh, it. Right? You listen to it. First. Like out of ten, I'd give it like a seven. Oh, <laughs> right. That's a good start. That's you know what? That's, good, that's, that's better than I thought. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to check out how many. I, I was I was interested the entire time. My I I asked my friend I'm like, yo, can you please like go check out this podcast? And she was just like, no, I don't want to hear you laugh at yourself for like an hour. <laughs> and I was, just so, I was so offended, but yeah. at the same time, I was like, yeah, it's you got It's point. very true. You got a. But you know what? It's the first podcast. So that means because we had that first podcast yes, and it sucked yes, and yes. we all kind of just laughed at our own jokes, yes, we can do that again this time on the second podcast. Yeah, no. That wasn't leading to something better. That was just me saying that we're not going to evolve. <laughs> we're just going to continue. To Yo, be Spectre comes out tomorrow? Huh? Yeah. I Man, I like have been new, like... The new James Bond? Yeah, yeah I have not apparently. been on the ball as far as James Bond movies. Listen, okay. I still have not watched any of the Daniel yeah. Craig ones. Um, really? Can I, can I be Royale a... Casino Royale is fire. Can I be a thousand Sky percent Fall truthful? Is... Skyfall is fire. Skyfall. No, it's Casino Royale is bae. Like, come on. Okay, Casino Royale is sick. Quantum of Solace is 
terrible. It I couldn't get through two least, minutes of that one. I could. I watched it because my. It was one time I remember when I was younger. My um. <laughs> My grandpa was just like, you want to go see uh, Quantum of Solace? Uh-huh. And I was just like, I was like, yeah, sure. Like, I hadn't seen Casino Royale yet at that point or anything. But I went and saw Quantum of Solace and I was like, so bored. I was like, this is complete shit. Like, the entire movie is so, like, even my dad, I, I think he even said, like, it was hard to follow. But then I saw Skyfall again with my grandfather and my uncle. And it was like, whoa, this is how a spy movie should be. <laughs> Skyfall? Yeah. You're referring to Skyfall, right? Yeah, I like Skyfall. I think I, like, Skyfall had one Because of, of Skyfall, I'm excited for Spectre. Okay. That's a, that's a good reason in it, I think. I'll be a thousand percent truthful. I've never finished a James Bond movie. Ever. Are you serious? Ever. I've Actually, no, wait. Casino Royale, maybe. Hey. hey it's guys. okay. We got external power. Hey, guys. If you're just tuning in now, the power cut out. And Yo, the power... What? And whatever Luke is making is not working anymore. He's making babies. <laughs> no. <laughs> got something else in the oven he's <laughs> well since the power is out <laughs> the power is out this is awkward dave dave would you would you say that you were prepared for emergencies like this no we're not like is your is your <laughs> house zombie fortified is there a backup generator no but i'm gonna go light a candle do rations of go buy candles. Candles. It's it's a don't worry there's there. pizza on the way yeah, yeah we, we can't track it Korea. It could come anytime in the next 40 minutes. I, I told them to call me when they're coming uh, that's, here. That's a veteran that's move. A good, that's, that's a, good a veteran move. That's how you know you order pizza. That's a veteran <laughs> move. Yeah, call. <laughs> Ryan's <laughs> rates you for that. No, you Ryan typed call on arrival. Yeah. And they call you and they're like, I'm here. I have a feeling if I, I went through here. Ryan's oh, address hello. book, most of hello, it would I be fast pizza. food chains. Oh, hello, I'm here. No. I have pizza for you. No. I'm here. I don't you have any burrito chains in my number. Where my phone? I, in my I'm hand. calling what? while I'm here because I have the pizza. Charles, what are you going on about? I'm just doing a little bit over here. Okay. Don't mind. All right. <laughs> He's by himself. You know what? I, I, that's something I wanted to bring up because last uh, last week or a couple weeks ago when we did our first test podcast, what I didn't include in there was a conversation we had about what we thought we were going to be in the podcast in terms of stereotypes. I who honestly the, completely forget about who this Who is the funny one? Who is the, <laughs> who is the, funny one? Who is the sarcastic one? Who is the sensitive one? And on the way here, I was like, I think I feel like we could probably pull that off again now that we're two podcasts in. So who do you guys think is the funny one and the sensitive one and the dead one? I don't think we can have a dead one yet, actually. Uh, we'll work that out, though. Nakil's kind of like the leader. He's the one, like... Like I said in the original one, he's the Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> leading Callbacks. us. Callbacks! Leading us. Like, that is true. Face. He's personally, the face of Personally, I think Dave is the witty one. Charles is the sensitive one. And Ryan is the fourth Ghostbuster. The black one? <laughs> That's racist. <laughs> no! I was going to say, I'm just the black guy who shows up every once in a while. It's like, well, hey, you got to start asking dude. questions. That's what the fourth Ghostbuster did. Kind of he, he literally... <laughs> Just like that. There you go. <laughs> but I think Ryan can make it way further than the fourth Ghostbuster in his one podcast appearance as of right now. That is true. But um, Ryan can definitely out Ghostbuster Ernie Hudson. Ooh. Ghost- Fuck you, Ernie Hudson. Hey, uh, <laughs> I, don't I, like know you. Hashtag. I don't even know you. Ryan for Ryan versus Ernie Hudson. Did you, do you guys know about... Oh, no, wait. Who would win against Ernie Hudson and Ryan? Like, in a fist fight or a Ghostbuster fight? Yeah, or a, fight. Uh, a question off. Who could question <laughs> Yeah, I think... <laughs> question off. I, got, I already got the question that wins. What? What's the question? What's your winning question against Ernie Hudson? What is what? Ooh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I think I, what? another one would be, what are you doing now, Ernie Hudson? <laughs> yeah. Just, just, like, what are you saying? <laughs> Ernie Hudson, what are you saying? Uh, he's probably prepping to do a cameo in the all-female version of Ghostbusters. I was about to bring that up. Because you I know think that he... that's not a continuation. It's a reboot. Yeah. No, really. It's a which reboot. Means, which means nice. they're not going to play their old characters. Anyone who comes back from the old Ghostbusters movie is going to be just like so someone random, new. Yeah. Oh, I don't like that. So well, Ernie will literally probably be a questioning bank teller. Yeah. I would say, why do you need this much okay. money? Or if we're going to go with stereotypes, he's going to be the taxi driver. I'm just going to get scared by a skeleton. I'm just going to say, <laughs> Melissa McCarthy makes me mad. She makes me mad. Yeah, I'm not why? a fan. Yeah, She's, um, I'm, I'm, just, I'm not a fan. What? I didn't like her in the first movie I saw with her in it, which was Bridesmaids. Never saw that one. I honestly, okay, I saw Bridesmaids. It was, one night, it was one night, I was at home, and I was like, you know what, it's on pay-per-view. Everyone's hyping this up. 
So I and my dad's Everyone's like, hyping it up. Or oh, like, dude, who so hyped up, who hyped up Bridesmaids? So many girls that I talked to were like, "Oh my god." Okay, no, I can agree with you. The reason why I saw it is because I saw it with like a group of girls and two guy friends, and they were like, "You gotta see Bridesmaids. It's gonna be hilarious." And I'm like, the only other chip book I've seen that was hilarious was Mean Girls. And then they were like, "Oh, it's written by some of the same people." And I, like, all right, you sold me. So I went to the theater, and there's a scene. Not spoiling. Uh, Dude, it's been out for no one. No one cares. Okay, it's been out for a couple years. And if 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 you still care about it and you want to see it, you should have seen it a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Melissa McCarthy. This this is only going to cement Ryan's hate for Melissa McCarthy. But Melissa McCarthy uh, has weird bear sex with uh some random dude on a plane like Wait, let, a, a air marshal from I an have airplane a question. what what is bear sex i'll i'll explain so they had a sub sandwich it was like a long foot long sub sandwich and the bear like skinned bear or something like one that you would put as a rug under like a fireplace or something like that it was, it was, she was wearing it around her neck and it was a sub what was... scene is this i do not remember this <laughs> one. this is not fucking Bridesmaids. It is Bridesmaids. No, it's not. Is it? How much a... do you want to? You know what, Dave? I will. You don't have power to check it out. I will challenge you on this because that is a scene in Bridesmaids, and the reason why is I it know during is the end credits. It's during the end credits. Okay, then yes, I know exactly what scene you're talking about. That's what made me leave the theater and be like, that—that that was the last thing they decided to end that movie on. That is what they wanted people to leave the theater on. You know how Marvel movies end with post-credit scenes where it's like, Ooh, can't wait for the next one. They ended it with Melissa McCarthy having weird animal sandwich sex with some dude with a 70s porn mustache. And it looked like a home movie. And I was like, are you sure this is the same movie? Wait, you don't talk about I don't think that was, I don't think they actually filmed that or knew that was going on. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy was just like, Sneak. the only way you're getting me in this movie was, is if I get to have weird sex. 70s sandwich bear sets with that one dude with the 70s porn mustache who's a gaffer on set. Gaffer, <laughs> the best boy. He's the best boy I've ever seen. And like, Melissa, please. Uh, <laughs> look, you're you're sort of funny. It's 2010. I'm just just do the movie. We won't do any of that. It's like, no, no, I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> you wait. This is my shot. <laughs> this is my big break. And it's like, could you just break instead, just like into pieces? Like, go the fuck away. <laughs> I don't like her. I just find all her characters are the same. They are all the same. Yes. She is. She is the. Female Kevin James. Oh, I oh, agree. Oh. I agree. Oh my that god, is, that's, that that's a, a big great revelation. Analogy. Because I, I did not even think, and I fucking hate Kevin James. Ooh. Okay, well okay, I like King of Queens. Yeah, I was just about to say King, King of Queens is <laughs> no. King did of Queens actually... is trash. I, oh, if I got the Ryan. opportunity, I would. Ryan. If I got the opportunity, <laughs> I would. Charles show is getting up Kevin and James. Charles has gotten up and left. <laughs> did you not see the King of Queens episode where Ray Romano shows up and Adam Sandler's there too, and it's like. Oh, hey, come on, hey, oh let's... God, I can't nope. believe you that just would've, said that. That, would've bothered, that episode would've bothered me, because Kevin James is in it. What? Did you like Everybody Loves Raymond? <laughs> no. No. Yeah, well, okay. No, so that was a terrible That's show. Forgiven. Raymond is that boring awesome. as fuck. Raymond is just like... Here's an entire episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Mm-hmm. The piano intro is just... Ray no. sitting on the couch, his kids are running around. Oh, the game is on! Deborah, grab the kids! And it's like, Ray, I'm divorcing you! I don't know if she was Jewish, actually. I don't know. That's probably I hate my mother. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Brad Garrett. Yeah, there then, we go. Then there laugh go. track, laugh track. <laughs> and then fucking fade to Everyone block. loves Raymond. Yeah. There you go. That's all you need to know. Everyone loves Raymond. And then Kevin James appears on it and Ryan hates him so yeah, hard. I would, I would fight Kevin James in a, in okay. a ring. All right. Um, let me, let I would me fight a bear to get the opportunity to fight Kevin you James. You would fight he a bear? Post or he... pre <laughs> Melissa McCarthy? That's what <laughs> I was about to say. He'd fight <laughs> Melissa McCarthy dressed as a bear eating a sub sandwich just to fight Kevin James. Yes, I would. That's I would do much. all of that. That is a long line of questioning. That's, it sounds like something Ernie Hudson would have mentioned. Ernie Hudson doesn't have shit on me, okay? <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Ryan has thrown more shit in that the first is... 10 minutes than Charles did in a whole podcast. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> How dare you? You're coming at everyone. He's All coming right. out the gates, arms swinging. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Yes. <laughs> we had a run-in uh, last weekend during Halloween no, week. No, no, we didn't. We we, shut up. We but like, I want to talk about your costume. Oh, okay. You okay, can talk yeah. about my costume. Let's talk about your costume. Halloween. Which, which costume? Yes, there Ryan was, there was two. those costumes. Okay. Yeah. Your Vince LaSalle costume. Yes. Beautiful. Vince LaSalle. It was actually like... That was <laughs> that was on point. Yeah, that was on point. How did you make it? Like, okay. what did you? What did you? What, yeah, what did you? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Was, can can we just easy. stop for a second? 
This is the time where we talk about DUI costume. Do, do it yourself. Say DUI. Do it yourself under the influence. <laughs> under the influence keyword. <laughs> okay, so it was it was pretty easy. I mean, I'm a big fan of making your own costumes, so I was like, Same. I was like, this is gonna be easy. So. Oh. I took a little trip to Value Village and I bought oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yes, and then Sorry, I bought a green insides. a green T shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then I left Value Village and I went to American Apparel and there. bought some gold wristbands. Oh, shit. Like, oh nice. damn, they were gold. Yeah, fire. The, the wristbands were the most expensive part of the costume. Yeah, because <laughs> you went to American Apparel. Where am I going to get gold wristbands? Okay, that why is. Did they have to be gold? Wasn't I they, thought they were going wearing yellow around. sweatbands? Yeah. So why yeah. isn't gold, everything on sale? Gold, same yellow, different. same thing. Yeah, so Kyle then... was like, I like do it yourself costumes, but I need to have gold wristbands. <laughs> yes. Like solid. You know gold. what I mean? I the need fibers gold. were coated in gold. solid gold. Yeah. No, coated okay, so I, I got the wristbands and I went home, cut the green t shirt into a jersey. Nice. Right? And then I already had a gray t shirt and some uh, some cargo khaki kind of kind of shorts. shorts. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I just grew my hair up for a little bit and kind of yeah. like. You give yourself like the high laz- top thing? Lazy. Lazy high top thing? Yeah, it's a Because, like, Vince has hair on the side. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. We should, uh, can we link a picture of your Vince LaSalle costume? Uh, yeah, I got a shitty mirror picture of it. That's All right, just send it, send it's it pretty, to us later. It's pretty embarrassing, we'll, uh, I mean. We'll link it. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> but I mean, Let me tell you about how I copped it, though. But, I mean, you're talking to the guy with the tattoo on his ass, so nothing. I have, oh, I have right. literally no we shame. All forgot about that. I literally I have no shame. I didn't even know about it. Never you never it. saw it? Well, there would oh, have well, to be. Oh, well, I have a picture. It's always a myth. It's been a myth. I've seen it. Dave, I don't. I that's lose track of who's seen it and who hasn't. Oh, you showed me the tattoo. I, have, okay. I was like, I thought it was going to be the Vince the South tattoo? costume. <laughs> no, that's just Ryan's butt. This is on. Like, is that like 5 a.m. on on Spadina? You know what's you know what's great. After, now I'm gonna have. To I don't know if it was stamp. before or after Chinese. Food, I'm gonna have right? to timestamp this moment as talking about Ryan's butt. <laughs> butt it's like talk. Butt talk with Ryan. I love butts. Uh, speaking of your hatred of Melissa McCarthy, though, yes, yes. Uh, and this goes for everybody, actually, even if you don't hate Melissa McCarthy. But now that it's been announced who's going to be in the new Ghostbusters, who would you rather the new Ghostbusters be? Who would I? You're, like, you're if, four. You're top female. It doesn't have to be female. It can be a mix of male and female, or just all male, like the originals. But who do you think would do a better job than the four that they chose? Uh, I think they should have Donald Glover in it. Yes, yes. I would agree. I agree. Donald Glover. I agree. Okay. Um, He's gonna I also be the think Egon. that I should be in it. No. Well, why don't we just be the Ghostbusters then? If you're gonna be in it, why do you get to be the only one? Yeah. Why do Donald you get Glover? to be like working with Donald? Glover? <laughs> yeah. What is that about, huh? Yeah, what the fuck, Charles? <laughs> well, it's always been a dream of mine. Too. <laughs> yeah, it's not like it hasn't been any for anyone else in this room. I can't wait till we get Donald on the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, imagine just like hey, no, that, that would never happen. Hey, Donald, that's what you think. What up? Come here. <laughs> Donald, Donald. Ryan's using black ESP to get Donald's yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah, we just do, sometimes we just do black, uh, black guy stuff. What do you do? We do black guy stuff together. <laughs> they do black stuff okay, to each what do you other. Think, what do you think black guys do when they're not around? They do black guy stuff. That's fair. Yeah. Well, you I know, can't speak on that. I had, a, I I had an encounter with a, a fellow black friend. I could have just said friend. I don't know why I did that. I had an encounter with Jamal. Jamal. Well, I'm going to mention because he wanted to mention a while ago. Shout out to Jamal. Shout Jamal, to Jamal, I love you. What up? Jamal, what up? Um, Jamal, I had an encounter Dave with Jamal Lazy. where he told me that he, what he gets a lot is like a, an elderly black person, whether it's a man <laughs> or a woman, will come up to him and be like, just talking to him like it's normal because he's black. <laughs> like, well, no, that's guys, a thing. You guys have never experienced the black eye nod. Yeah, no, we've never. In, that's that's what he called in it. Public, in, yeah, you walk by a black guy in public, and you're both burning the wood. Well, just to <laughs> just to clarify, sometimes, Ryan did the black guy nod. Sometimes even just eyebrows are just like. What's that about? I don't. Do I don't daily? have that with Asians. I wouldn't say daily. <laughs> like weekly. Uh, yeah, maybe once a week. Maybe yeah, once, once a week. Yeah. Like it, it, I guess it just has to be a person like you it's expect like, enough to do. Yeah, it's just a respect thing. It's like, oh, hey, fellow black man, <laughs> what up? You just grind into this world. It's hard. It's hard with all these white people. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I, I agree, Ryan. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Sitting right here. It is, it is hard, Ryan. It's hard. I didn't do anything crazy to the titties. It's not trying to make it into a, That's okay into with a the... singular problem. It's not your fault specifically. I'm kidding. I love you white people. <laughs> you people. Back on, the, <laughs> back on the topic, though. Back on the topic. Well, so, well, Donald Glover. Oh. Who else? Who else can fill that out? Okay. I'm, don't say it. Chris Pratt. Don't say that's Chris tough. Pratt. That is tough. Because I feel like everyone on the internet loves Chris Pratt, 
So we have to somehow avoid using him in okay. this, this ghost. Nicholas Cage. I... <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is Egon. so good. <laughs> Nicholas Cage? Yeah. He plays this. Yeah, he's Egon. Uh, here are my other I two. I thought Donald would be Egon because he no. was the nerdy scientist in mm. The Martian. No, I want Donald to be like the funny guy. Yeah. Like, I want him to become Bill like, Murray. He's not even the funny guy in real life anymore. <laughs> Yeah, he's hey, he's got a new comedy coming out on FX called yeah, Atlanta. Is it, is it a Check comedy? It is it a comedy? Well, I have a, a feeling it's gonna end up being like. I thought it was a drama. Kind of yeah, it's it's a, gonna be Louis. I, I heard for comedy. rappers. <laughs> oh, oh, Lua. <laughs> <laughs> Good job getting around that copyright, man. I love that. Okay, so Nicholas Cage, Donald Glover. We'll figure out their roles later. Let's Bill just get Murray. a solid four. No, not just Bill Murray again. <laughs> yeah, just Bill Murray. Bill Murray can be Slimer. No, I was gonna say Chris Pratt can be Slimer. Well, I guess that's one way. Again. And just like super, no, just superimpose his face over like. Did you know that Slimer was basically uh, the Jim. ghost of John Belushi? <laughs> yeah. That's what his role was in the movie. It was like because they wanted John to be a part of them, right? Before Ghostbusters, but it was like John did too much coke, so we're just gonna turn him into a green slobbering <laughs> ghost <laughs> of his former self. But yeah, oh, yeah, that's that's actually how. That went. Are you guys that surprised that John no, Belushi you know died of COVID? You know who I wa- would want? <laughs> is that not? Is that just not a, a topic that's out Maybe, there? Maybe. You know who could do, like, if we were going, like, the hipster route? Oh, Dave's doing the hipster Jared route. Jared Leto. No, Jared no, no. Leto. Not... Oh, I thought you were going to say Jared Leto. No. Jared Leto would be amazing. Jared Leto would be a get, you know? He, would he was be on like, Uncle Stan. He would play the villain. Okay. Jared Leto would play the villain. Okay. But. Okay. I would say we add Andrew Garfield as Egon. Andrew Garfield. Um, <laughs> uh, if you wanted to go like the hipster nerdy like way, but I think they should all at least have some sort of because you know um who was it Harold Ramis was Egon right and yeah. Harold Ramis was a comedy writer so at least he had the chops to be funny right yeah that is true so okay. if you put Garfield in it cool I don't Strauss. I pers- <laughs> I said funny they're not on the hipster <laughs> route anymore okay no, he no. wasn't even the funniest person on a show that was destined to be funny for children. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, you know who else should be in it? Uh, Adam Devine. Ooh. Yes. Oh, yes. yes, I like this idea. Or, like or this we idea. just get all three of the workaholics and put them in. <laughs> well, no, Donald I think Gilbert. Adam, Adam, <laughs> Devine, Adam Devine should be in it. Oh should Blake be in Anderson. it, but I think the other two should be, like, just in the movie. Yeah, together. obviously. But Devine definitely Yo, should be a Ghostbuster. Um, I would say... <laughs> Dave, Dave, love the transition. By, uh, love object. the transitioning. Okay. No, I would say Blake would have to be um, like uh, Rick Romanis' character. In it. Like, Rick Moranis' character? Yeah, he would have to be like the nerdy, like kind of guy that's just trying to impress girls and whatnot. But he deals with the ghost the most. Like, I like that idea too. Actually, like I would dig him as like that, like awkward. Where are we okay? Where are we at now, though? So we have Donald Glover. If Donald Glover, Nicholas Cage, Cage Adam Devine, Adam Devine, Blake, Blake as someone else, fires. Blake as someone else, Chris need... Pratt as Slimer. We need our fourth Ghostbuster. We do need a fourth Ghostbuster. I believe it should be an unknown. It should be an unknown. A yeah. quite unknown, well-known character. I say we get Uncle Stan. A young <laughs> David Weir. A young, <laughs> young <laughs> David Weir. Actually, out of the four of us that are here in this room right now, who do you think would make a good fourth Ghostbuster to that Ryan. pairing? Ryan? Yeah, we gotta, Dave's votes for it's Ryan. It's 2015. It's got to be diverse. Actually, you know what? Two let's, black guys. Let's yeah. make it. Let's make like it a that. hashtag. Let's make it a hashtag. Oh no, I know who. Fourth Ghostbuster. Hashtag fourth Ghostbuster, and then tag or at one of us. Okay, if it's all of our Twitters are gonna be in the description. Okay, but if you think we'd make a good. If I'm not the fourth Ghostbuster, it's Michael B. Jordan. Oh, oh! what are we doing with our lives that we didn't how think did, Michael B. Yeah, Jordan? how did we feel? I feel so. I'm sorry. Sad with myself that Michael B. Figured. Jordan is killing it too. The, the B stands for Bay. Other, <laughs> other than the fact that he was in Fantastic Four. No, no, what Fantastic Four? What Miles Teller, about? he was in it too. He did fine. Oh Miles wait, Teller's Miles great. Teller would have been. Yeah, well, <laughs> why you don't like Miles Teller? You don't I'm like Miles Teller? Fan. Oh wow! Did you wow, like Whiplash? Did Whiplash not get to you? Uh, no, Listen. stop talking about Whiplash. Do you have, do you have emotional Whiplash? No, I no, no. His best not... role. His best role, Project X. Yes. I remember yes. Project X. Oh my god. He was like the, the base, He's a baseball player. It, oh, of course. Yeah, Ryan likes him for that. Ladies, Ryan. I liked him for the first <laughs> scene up? where he... Uh... Ryan plays baseball. I, I don't have that. Formally. Oh, he's here. Retired. Retired. Retired.
Why? <laughs> Sitting on stacks. <laughs> You're like 21, dude. Yeah, I ended, I ended up on top, okay? I fucking <laughs> came, third, came third in Provincials. In the Yay! Power Yay! The Bay Power oh, Game on! Thank you, Priya. Yeah, I didn't really want to talk about this one. It's fine. <laughs> uh, Ryan, what was your batting average? Career? Yeah. Uh, I'd say somewhere around like... 250, 300. Is that good? I don't know baseball. No, I don't know baseball. Charles, <laughs> why would you even for, ask that? Not for, <laughs> not for like a regular person. A regular person? It's like 300 good? 300 good if you're a pro, but like we don't face pros. Like, oh, that's like, good, like good players in my age at like 400, 500. <laughs> you know what else isn't good? What? Adam Sandler. Oh god, I hate. It. Please just stop. Is I don't even. Want, I don't even want to get one into of the topics you wrote down. I, I wrote. Here's why. I don't want to talk about Adam Sandler. Here's why, whatsoever. Though, Dave. Here's why. why I wrote Adam Sandler down. All right. Why? A couple years back, oh Adam Sandler signed a deal with Netflix he did. in which he would get, I think, mm. nine, nine or twelve, nine to eleven. <laughs> A picture deal. It's like a picture yes. deal with Netflix, the first one's coming where out. nine new Adam Sandler movies are coming, coming out. out on Netflix. What so it? it's like all you wonderful Netflix users, get ready. It's going to be an like onslaught. A, it's like a shitty parody of that new Tarantino movie. Exactly. So there, his first one is going to be a Wild West. Oh, I heard parody. about this. I actually because what's Tarantino's The Terrible Eight or uh, uh, Hateful Eight? Hateful eight. eight. Yeah. <laughs> so his is going to be called um, the. Terrible. The shitty seven. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something bad. Uh, I don't remember personally what it was called. But the thing is, I think Dave was about to bring up the controversy behind it. And then after you bring that up, I'm going to bring up something even stupider. Hello, pizza's here? But we can't because Dave's on the boat. Priya. Okay, yeah, I'll be out in a second. No, nah, Priya doesn't deliver. Oh, she <laughs> just handles the pizza. Mohan. 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 Mohan, my boy. Mohan, oh, God, guys. Better be. Shout out to Mohan. Mohan's big. Okay, so while Dave's getting pizza, uh, there was some controversy on the set of that Adam Sandler movie because it is a Western, but they brought Native American, like actual Native American people on there for assistance on how to depict the Native Americans correctly. Now, well, that's, I mean, that's, 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 that's a pretty, good call, right? That's pretty respectful, right? Culturally sensitive. That's a but very respectful is, thing of Adam Sandler. Follow up question. Who was playing the Native people? Rob Schneider. Uh, I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Rob Schneider played a Spanish guy. It's kind of worse. That's even, yeah, that's there's no good call. Rob Schneider. There's no good call. There's, there's no Rob way. Schneider is a racist. Rob Schneider is not working <laughs> ever okay, again. But, okay, life advice from a Rob Schneider movie. Uh, what was it? It's the the one where he switches with the girl. Hot chick. Hot chick. Never watched it. Okay. Don't yeah. care. So the girl. <laughs> it's after they switch bodies, and the girl is in a bathroom at a bar, and she takes a pee. And the bathroom attendant goes... Is this the best scene? Yes. He goes, okay. if you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. So every time I go to the bathroom, if, like, I just go in my oh, head. Oh, that's where you heard if that? If you shake it more than twice, you're playing with it. And I just think of that movie. Every single time I go to the bathroom. That must be a very traumatic experience. It, the something. fact that every time you pee, you think of Rob Schneider is something you well, don't Well, no, want it's Rob Schneider in the girl's body. Okay, that's not... That doesn't Getting help. talked to by an old black man. That doesn't help Wait, anything. Why is there an old black man in the female's wash? No, he, it's after... They body Oh, switch. it is Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to make it sound so much better, but I couldn't. It's okay, buddy. Well, no, I just think of the words. I just think the words. Okay? I, hey, it's all right. You said you remembered the words from it, not yeah. the actual situation. Yeah, not like... Rob Schneider yeah, shaking like, his wiener. What's it? What? Yeah. That's a great time, <laughs> Dave, time to walk back Dave in. Dave tried to segue his way back into the conversation <laughs> like he wasn't here for a couple seconds. And he instantly regretted that decision. <laughs> <laughs> I you wish I was recording that. He eased into that. He came, in, he came in with a pizza box. He said, yeah, situation. What? Because <laughs> all he heard was... Uh... Rob Schneider shaking his wiener. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we talking? Well, we were talking about uh, the Adam Sandler movie and how they had Native Americans on set. Okay, yeah, and I heard that they got so offended. So offended that they walked off set. Yeah, they walked off and they're like, it became like a news thing where it was like, this is fucking like. And Adam Sandler was like, I still gotta make the movie anyways. I tell you. Yeah, basically, like, he just told him to, like, like, to fuck off. I don't think he said that. Well, like, not like that, but he, like, basically the way he went about it did not go over well. Thanks, Charles. (laughs) <laughs> I love there's a there's a running gag here where every time Dave is moving around Charles moves the mic towards him it's adorable it is it really is adorable it's it's like 
working with the child. <laughs> Ow, well. <laughs> Someone's well not going to have his mic moved Rewarding, around. I'm saying Charles is... He just <laughs> patted him on the head, too, guys. Dave is a patronizing dude, man. I didn't mean for that. <laughs> just get some plates and get your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go grab plates. Ryan, uh... uh just keep, just keep doing nothing. Keep thing. it up. Keep it up, Ryan. I'm not a one-man show. Uh, I'm like Charles here, but I don't support this. <laughs> Welcome back to the the ghost hour, where we talk about spooky, scary things. I just oh, cut all of this out. It's a pizza, it's a pizza break. It's, it's a pizza, pizza break. It's a party podcast. It's a party. Um, it's a party. So, anyways, back to the Gotham podcast. Uh, I love the show, and they they did a big. They, <laughs> <laughs> they did a big, they, they pulled, they pulled a big one-two on us for all you Gotham watchers and listeners. Oh my God, no more Gotham! <laughs> what? Charles. Charles is trying to make. They this... actually pulled like this big, the biggest like. Whoa! Yeah. What? And it has to do with something you were mentioning the last time I brought up Gotham. Is it that they're bringing like a Harley Quinn type character? Yeah. Yeah. I got this. Okay. No. That's right. Hot swap. Hot swap. I'm, I'm trading. I don't want to spoil yeah. anything. Well, I mean, for people who are the people who the may four potentially people who are watching Gotham. Just destroyed it. Like yeah, people. it's uh. What they got like attached. All anyways, it. here I'll just say it anyways, and maybe you'll censor this out. But time I, I won't censor it. Okay, so uh, you know how you're saying that Jerome is supposed to be the new. God, he's not. Well, guess what? He is. The one of the episodes. Okay. Um. I might actually have to edit this now because you spoiled it. I, I told you. He gave that warning. I told you. I knew, no, I'm not going to edit it. No, oh, I didn't know what you were talking it. about. I was grabbing pizza. So you, I, you sat down and I said, I'm going to spoil this. And you said, oh, no one watched. Oh, the four people who watched Gotham are going to get bad. offended. My bad. I didn't. I was Honestly, I had the pizza in front of me. All I saw was the pizza and I heard Gotham. And I'm like, well, he's talking about Gotham. <laughs> what, what, what's the worst that could happen? Spoiled. It's all right. I won't, I won't censor it, but I'll probably add a Microsoft Ryan voice over it. Did you know Microsoft Sam isn't a thing anymore? I was looking for a Microsoft Sam text-to-speech thing online, so I could put a skip to 14 minutes and 57 seconds in the middle of a podcast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where's Microsoft Sam at? They don't have Microsoft Sam anymore, but his new name is Microsoft Ryan. What? That's How possible. cool is that? So we technically had Ryan on the podcast before Ryan was on the podcast. Okay, so they didn't give us a water, then they gave us two sprites. Oh. I don't, I don't drink soda. Well, that's all we have. Hey, I'll get you water yourself. You got a top? I can drink that. I got Brita. Oh, Brita's so, the worst. Quick question. Should back we, to Pizza in the Mouth podcast. Should we take a break? Probably. No, I think I think it would add to it if we're too many so the title of this is Pizza Party Podcast. No, there's oh, no, already no, one. No, there's already one. There's already one. Damn it. I'll admit I'm a listener. Mm. Can I just say whoever cut this pizza is the fucking worst person yeah. ever? Priya, we 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 we're not impressed with you this time. No. You need to step up your fucking game. Ryan has so much anger in him. Who hurt you, Ryan? Who hurt you? Ryan, Ryan's a man with his food. Like he's He's definitely like that type of guy. Where if his burrito isn't right, his, like, week is ruined. Oh, no, no, my burrito's always right. Or he'll kill you. (laughs) (laughs) Ryan's actually a a burrito murderer. I love that he's, like, laughing to it, but he's not denying. Like, I've never killed someone (laughs) over a burrito. Would you kill someone for a burrito? Uh, Let me ask you something, Ryan. Dire consequences? Like, it is, like... Like a Saw movie. Like, instead of offering freedom, they're like... Your last meal will be a burrito if you kill the person in the room. With you. you know what? Like my last meal? Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure I'd kill someone for a burrito if it was my... If, like, I'm gonna die after I eat that burrito? Just letting you all know, a burrito means more than a human life to Ryan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True statement. When first meeting Ryan, I definitely would never suspect that. But I have a question for you guys. What did you guys think of, like, each other in the room when you first met them? Oh. Are we... Like, will this get, like, too touchy? But, like... Probably not. I feel like none none of us have like a controversial story about meeting each other. But all right, I'm trying to think. So we were in the same section mm-hmm. first semester. Our first class was Greg's audio class. They switched the day on us. Yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. We were supposed to be on Tuesday, and it was on. Oh no, it was supposed to be on the Monday. So we didn't we didn't have class on Tuesdays, and then the day before they switched it to the Tuesday. Mm, okay. 
I did not know this. This is how good of a student I am. This is compelling. Well, I didn't find Anyway, so the first, before. I went into that class and I was kind of like Charles. Well, not in the same sense, but I just sat down <laughs> and didn't talk to anyone. I was kind of awkward first semester too. Yeah, I was. But um, I remember like it wasn't up until I didn't really speak to anyone in our like section up until like uh, Ben's class. So mm-hmm. we had Ben's and he always like just throws up like the most references and I was the only oh, kid yeah. in the class yeah. who got him. Got yes. him? I remember this because I'd be like, fuck, this kid's smart. Maybe I'm in the wrong program. <laughs> I was like, fuck. That was actually what you thought? Like, like not like I wasn't going to drop the fuck out, but like I was like, this kid's so smart. I thought I was like just like the nerdy ass kid that no one would like as soon as I started answering them. Cause, like, but then, and then Jamie's camera and lighting came around and um and then uh it was like oh we're gonna take out the cameras and you guys are gonna like we're gonna go through the camera together and uh anthony is sitting beside me and he just goes hey man like you really know a lot about like comic books and stuff like that like i've never like i thought i knew about comic books but like you know a lot and i'm like yeah i i I like comics and and movies (laughs) like i didn't know what to say and he was just like just like yeah like you seem to know like i'm anthony like and I was, like, the first person I really met. But I just remember, like... Wait, the first person you really met was Anthony? Within the, like, within my section, like, of talking, it was Anthony. That was a mistake. <laughs> 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 and then, um... And then it took a little bit, but then me and Ryan got to know each other. Mm. And it wasn't... Are you gonna bring butters? No, it wasn't right. that. It was another situation I'm not gonna talk about, because I know instantly I'm gonna ask Malkiel to cut it. <laughs> Like instantly, but it involved the drive. It involved oh, the, oh fuck. that was the first time I really got to talk to Charles. I mean, not even Charles, Ryan. Fuck. And then the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm very glad to be out of the loop right no, now. No, you don't want even want to know. Yeah, we'll explain later. It was. Dumb. Anyways, <laughs> it was and then the first time I met both of you, well, the first time I met your section was before Karen's midterm, where I ran into Luke, and I'm like. Yo, you know where the thing is? Like, yeah, it's like up here, man. And then, like, we just ended up in a room, and I walked in, and everyone in your section looked at me and was like, "Who are you?" Yes. And I was That's like, "That's not when I met." No, no, no. This I, the first time I met your section. Okay. And every it was I think it was uh, Scoots, and she was just like, "Who are you?" Are you an NB person? Are you a mythical creature? Because that's yeah. what we call you guys. Yes. And I'm just like, that's a very good Scoots. I admit. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty no, good. I remember walking into that midterm. It was a big group of us in MB, and we walked in, and like it just went silent. Everyone looked at us as we walked up, like we fucking like were it's wearing like, red it's like the on people our chest. on the <laughs> other side of the island and lost. Yes. Yeah. It's like. The but fuck? um, the first time I really met you guys was the uh, after the dog pilot screen. after the, the dog yeah, screen. Oh no, pilot pilot pilot, 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 pilot. Yeah, so it was like the second years, and then I remember just going up to you guys because magical. I, it was so magical. This is how friendship started because I thought you guys were having like the time of your life, and I like. I already had a couple, so I was like, you know what, this would be an interesting, you know what, I haven't met many people, and I remember, I was like, this kid seems like he'll just be funny, because I have, I, I remember, I actually have to admit, Who I, are you pointing at? You. <laughs> Val <Keel>. Yeah, <laughs> this Cabrera. Kid, feel it, Charles. I am. No, because, because I remember, I found, I remember before I joined the BRTV group, I found it, and your post with, uh, your news show, like the original one, oh. and so I watched society. that. Society. Yeah, oh, good yes. morning. Cause I, so I watched pun. that, and, <coughs> and I died. Like I was. Dave dying. is actually dead now. This is a posthumous podcast. You can't keep making that joke. I'm gonna make it eight more times. But anyway, so I like lurked you on Facebook. I was like, this kid seems oh, funny and creepy. Okay. That's a little creepy. I, Dave, got Dave got weird. Dave got weird. Dave got weird. Oh, that. that's a good podcast title. Dave got weird. I don't want to make that. <laughs> But then, then that night, and I only remember, well, I remember a lot from that night, but one thing I fully remember is you looking at the second year being like, yeah, your pilot's good. It's like, it's J.J. Abrams, it's like Lost, but it's not that good, and I'm going to do better. Oh, and yeah. like, oh, funny story, that guy, his name's Greg, he was one of the guest speakers. I and, remember and meeting guess who, him. guess who walks up to him, and then before... I was like, before Malcolm went to go talk to him, I was like, Malcolm, do you realize who that guy is? I knew. He's the guy that you told his pilot sucked. What up, Greg? Like, Ooh. I didn't say his pilot sucked. You I, did. I, I, I yeah, went you in did. on you it. Did. I which, didn't say... Which but, pilot was it? That being, that's being remember. too easy. Was it time actually. travel one? Because that one was garbage. That wasn't even a time travel one. Did you know that? It's actually like video game characters coming out of the video game. What? Yeah. Huh. I thought it was a time travel one. Huh. Nope. Well, 
Frank explained it to us, and all of us in my class just went, no, it's not. But, um, so yeah, that was my first impression of YouTube. Well, you, I thought, like, I was like, this dude's chill. Me and him will get along. <laughs> you, I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta say it, because, like, remember, Oh, yeah, podcast Charles, wise. Charles, you're chill, like, <laughs> but Malcolm, I thought was, like, fucking hilarious. And then that's where I learned about the foreclosure. Yeah, and that's a good segue, because I was about to bring up how I met you, Dave, because we were okay. at the bar, what was it, the pool? Like, the, the pool hall, table, yeah. The pool the hall pool table hall. bar. And I remember I was just, like, sitting on a stool, and I was talking to Adam, who said he was going to get some drinks for everybody, or at least everyone in our immediate crew. And he went up to the bar and left uh, his girlfriend, Claire, with me. So I was just talking to her for a bit about, like, Fresh Prince or something. And then uh, Adam came back with the Claire, and Dave moved in off the spot. And he sat next to me, and I think I was just talking to Dave for a bit, and I was like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> He's like, I think I know who you are, though. <laughs> and I think that's because of the whole stalking thing you brought up earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we just started you talking. Had... And at this point, I think I ended up telling Dave, I'm like, yeah, I don't drink. Like, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. But I do know that I'm here to have a good time. <laughs> And Dave was like, how are you going to do that? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just sitting on a stool. So I guess we're just going to have a conversation. So I talked to Dave for a while about a bunch of different stuff. And then it somehow landed on what? It landed on I think pilots, I, right? Yeah, I was like, oh, like, uh, have you thought? Uh, no, I was asking. Yes, Dave. Ponder. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, no, I'm wondering. Because I think it was like, um, we either brought up like, you no, I think you asked me like, oh, do you know what you're like? So we just watched pilots. Do you have an idea for yours or something? You asked me, I think. Oh well, that sounds like a very me thing to do. And then I was like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do for a pilot. Like, I don't even like. Just to remind everyone, Dave has his pilot chosen, so he's working on it now. <laughs> and we have Still to, working, and we have to cut it down. Uh, yeah, Brendan was telling me that. That was my uh, night last night. It's awful. You know what? The way to go is to shoot less. Shoot less. Yeah. Work with more. That's what we're doing. <laughs> and it's working out fantastic. It's not working out. Because <laughs> Anthony's editing. Yeah, well, at least you're not, yeah, you're not editing like right an now. Aaron Sorkin <laughs> script into seven minutes. It's awful. Everyone's talking too much. I, I really wish I didn't Aaron Sorkin my script so hard. But yeah, I, I ended up pitching my show to Dave that night. <laughs> I was trying to sell my show to Dave because I had never met him before. And I'm like, yeah, he seems like a good guy. And I think I told some people about it too. I'm like, this dude has like the funniest idea that I've heard. Whoa. No. Reason why we... I'm said... sitting right here, guys. <laughs> Hi, Charles. Hey, I'm, so the one, I'm the only one whose pilot did you show me. Aww. What was your idea again? Mine was like a bootleg of Charles. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way to follow that statement. I'm the only one with blood in your children. It's basically Charles's pilot. Yeah. <laughs> but what's great is you're working on Charles's pilot. Yeah, so that's how it worked Your out. ideas basically got to get fused in there. Yeah. They made love to each other nice and slow. Like, they did. They made love to each other. I had ideas. Sir. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? Every time something's cut out, it's just going to be like, cut this out. <laughs> cut this out. No, I'll put it at the end of every podcast. <laughs> cut like this out productions. Cut, cut this out productions. We, have, we haven't landed on a production company name. Me, and, me, Charles, and Adam have been thinking about it for a while. And uh, we have a YouTube channel that was it's called 3WG. Plug, plug, plug. This is a plug. Not plug, really. Plug. We don't really do a lot on that channel anymore. At least right now. Okay, don't go. Deplug. Unplug. Yeah, unplug. 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 Don't do unplug. it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we might do some rebranding or whatever. But we couldn't figure out what to land on because we, we like coming up with random names for production companies. <laughs> What was yours? It was a uh, uh, foot in the door. Production. Foot in the door. Uh, mine was just a regular Tuesday production, and Adam had one. I can't remember what his was. We should have Adam. I love that we yeah, like originally like the concept is that Adam was going to be involved in this podcast and more, but I have barely seen Adam around. Like, <laughs> to be he, fair, Adam he's... actually has a whole thing going on with himself. Like, he's busy. He's a busy guy. Yeah, he, he has a busy. like two days of classes. Man. He's a man. He is. He's, he's foreign. No, he's not. I love that. I love that too. No, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a soundbite from a sports clip. It's like a football coach, and he's like, I'm a man. I'm 40. And it's like, don't talk about players and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I trailed off, but it I is. still loved all I love it. that you like had the confidence for it at first, but then when we all, all three of us we're did like, not what? know what reference you were going to, you're like, oh, wrong audience. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally my life. 
Alright. Ryan. Ryan is, is the sympathetic one. one. He is definitely the fourth. <laughs> Third and um, Topic wise, it's hard to transition into stuff that I have here. But I will mention that earlier this week, I was trying to figure out how to Okay, get... but like before any Th- of thanks, us. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, I'm Dave. sorry, I'm going to completely. Thanks, Dave. I explained how I met all of you guys in first thing, and Malcolm kind of wanted to. You two didn't even explain, like, meeting anyone else. Like, I, I'm curious as to what you guys thought of me at first. Okay, this is more of an egotistical thing for Dave. Oh, well, yeah. I remember the first time I saw Dave, it was, we were outside of Karen's class, and, like, Luca just, like, went over, shook your hand, and everything like that. I was like, who's that guy? Who's that guy? Cool. Cool. And then, uh, How wrong you were. <laughs> well, at first I thought you were a skateboarder. Well, he gives off How that hot topic vibe. <laughs> he gives off that hot topic vibe. And then, <laughs> I don't know, and then we started, we, we all started growing out in Abra's class. Oh, oh my god. That is really where our friendship was That like. is where our friendship began. And then I met Ryan, and the first time we ever met Ryan was the night of the screening. That, that was screening kinda, is such a Well, that's night. when we, that's when, like... Because we, the first oh yo, class me we and you had, went together to the yeah. screening because like no one else in our section. Yeah, it was go. like me, you, Anthony, and then Scott came with his girlfriend. Yeah, but like we didn't really hang out with Scott. And yeah, his girlfriend. like me, you, and Anthony hung out before. We went to. Sorry, continue. We went to like El <laughs> Furniture, Furniture Warehouse, and Anthony like demanded chicken wings or something. Yeah, he's like, guys, I want chicken wings. No, no, the waitress came up. He's like, she's like, oh, what do you want? And he goes, can I have chicken wings? <laughs> <laughs> Like a seven year old, <laughs> yeah. like in his dumb can- or maple leaf sweater. Like, <laughs> can I just say he hasn't been wearing that as much? As yeah, because I make fun of him every time he wears it. <laughs> he wore it a lot. Yes. No. So yeah, I remember. Like, actually, I remember now. He's like, "Can I have chicken wings?" She's like, oh. "It was like before she, she even said like, can I take your order?'" Like, she like walked up to the table and we're like, <laughs> and me and Ryan are just we're like, like oh my I God. didn't see him doing it. And then me and Ryan are both just kind of like, uh, could I please have, oh, I was just like, could I please just have a beer? And yeah. like, same as Ryan, like, yeah. have a beer. And he's like, can I have chicken wings? He's like, yeah. just yelled it. And all, like, I was like, stop saying it's it. like, Anthony, this isn't fucking Kelsey's, like, <laughs> Like, at least use your manners a little yeah. bit. Like, uh, he's gonna start listening to this and, and just be like, hate us. Well, you mostly. Well, you're, mostly you're, you're, you're throwing a lot of shit. Yeah, you are. Me. Like it's like it's the. This is nothing Ryan would say to his. Like it's true. Ryan would say That's what I love about him. Ryan. Ryan is not saying things that he would never say to someone else. Like he is. He's basically just being himself, and we can't throw. We can't edit out him being honest. That is true. But no, I remember that, and then we went to the screening, and we were like the first ones there. Yeah, because we were like. And it was so it was cold. A, a beautiful night for it friendship. It was so cold. <laughs> it really. Oh yeah. It was cold that night. Oh, so then no. remember we went to, um, fucking, what is it? The uh, Bilal? Ed, on its Ed's? And we walked around with Denise yeah. and Bilal. No, Bilal and Denise were there. They were there, but they were kind of just, like, Dude, avoiding us. Because we didn't know them yet. We were Why like, oh, you, you guys are in our program. They're like, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that was a drink of Bilal. Dang. <laughs> you know, that's good. Wow. Those are actually the first two people that ever talked to me in the program. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd they say? Well, when I first <laughs> when I walked into that was Jake, such a dumb yeah. question. <laughs> well, they were I'm the first you. people to talk to me for the first time. I assume it started with hello. <laughs> yeah. well, like, no, it started with uh, I walked into Jamie's class late, as mentioned before, and then I saw an empty seat next to Denise, and I was like, "Is anyone sitting here?" She's like, "Yeah." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and then, so then I was just kind of standing there awkwardly, and like Julia grabbed a chair for me and put it next to me which is like okay sat down and then Bilal came in and sat down and then like when we were going through the camera he's like hey my name is Bilal and for the longest time I thought his name was Bilal that's fair that's the end of that, that story um, um in terms of me meeting Ryan it was around the same time as Dave but I think you were hanging out with Anthony so I thought okay maybe him and Anthony are really good friends and I should never try to break that bond <laughs> so I talked to you as a as a duo instead of singularly yes I was like hey guys <laughs> I think I've only referred to you as hey guys for a while because I couldn't remember which one was right which one was Anthony. <laughs> well, you, you call this you call this JD and Turk yeah that was that was my go-to because I'm like maybe one of them will think the other is JD and the other was Turk. No, I'm, I'm the JD in this relationship <laughs> yeah and he, he said that and I'm like all right I, I love these two already. but I said those two because I I'm also getting a phone call remember uh, oh oh Ryan's too call. important he's too important for us uh. 
<laughs> uh, but now that he's gone and I've addressed two out of three, uh, I already talked about how I met Charles, but I didn't talk about how I met Charles. I don't even recall how we actually met. That was he he used his, his, uh, his money fingers. The, the air quotes. Air quotes. Uh, I don't. I don't either, to be honest. I remember when we first bonded, though, yeah. and it was that? a car ride because I found out that you lived remotely close. So I was like, "Hey, could I hitch a ride to like Square One or something?" And you're like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." It was the first of eight thousand rides, but um, I got into that car and I put on an instrumental, specifically, um, I believe it was nineteen seventies grocery store music. And me and you were just talking about how corny it sounded. And I'm like, you know what it kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of the Cosby show. And for the rest of the ride, me and Charles, and this is this is pre-Bill Cosby. Scandal. <laughs> scandal. Well, there's always been a scandal. but it just Yeah. Pre-Hannibal pre Burris dragging the scandal out into the open. Yeah. But me and Charles bonded and started our friendship over terrible Bill Cosby impressions and fictionalized episodes of the Cosby show where Rudy is allergic to jam, uh, gets thrown out of the car during a road trip to a picnic, and at the end they all die in a fiery, fiery car crash. So nothing too far from the Cosby show's after no. that. <laughs> <laughs> but from there, every time I got a ride with Charles, we would just make all of these Cosby things. And I don't know, we had this weird fascination with Bill Cosby. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where it's I never got it. And then it kept moving on and on, too. No, you know where I think it started from? You were showing me, I don't know how, you just started showing me the alibi, your alibi project, and, like, you were doing that. And then I remember in class you started editing, like, a little... A cartoon. Yeah, a little cartoon. Which is unlisted. I'm sorry, everyone. The the scandal got too big for for the actual video to sustain. Yeah, so that's where that all started. (coughs) But I'm still not sure of the exact moment. I can't either. Is that weird that we don't know exactly when we became friends? No, that's how great friendships are. They're just a mystery of intertwining streams <sighs> that join together in a nice long river. Uh, welcome Dave back is, to Dave's poetry. Dave hour. is hot topicing on us. But no, so the barista character. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's back. Alright, so the barista character. What is his motive? Wait, can we, before you transition into something, can you mention what the hell you're transitioning into? <laughs> so, the you barista just, character. You can't just say things, David. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. I want chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that to him on Monday. He's not going to get it because he wasn't listening to himself. That's very true. I also just. I think you him. reamed him out for that, which is what's. Oh, so- oh, absolutely. I was reaming out. Ugh. I think you straight up said, like, dude, like, you got to be, like, a little more mature and, like. Like, a little more nice. Yeah, you, you can't just be a dick about that. And then he was like, what are you talking about? And he's like, dude, say please and thank you. Hey, you just straight yelled food at her. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine starting conversations by yelling you want food from people? <laughs> it's like Mr. Meeseeks. <laughs> I'm Mr. Meeseeks! I want like, food! You want, I, I, I meet Dave for the first time, and it's like, uh, I want pizza! <laughs> And Dave's like, I'm sorry? <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm Mr. Pizza! Give me pizza! Is that your name, or, like, what's going <laughs> is that, on Is here? that a form of currency? <laughs> but no, for real, for real, I yell at Ellen, at Anthony, not Ellen, what? I yell, at, <laughs> I, I, yell at, I yell at Ellen when she's on TV, too. Yeah, no, I yell at Anthony all the time for, she his, like dancing. for his shit. <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Ellen. Whoa, I like Ellen. <laughs> nah, she she's cool, but like apparently she's a huge bitch in person. Is she really? Yeah, I've heard that. I, I heard about that, that about Steven too. Spielberg too. Yes. No, I heard Ellen like she has like like an entourage of like producers and like like nice. executives and shit, and they like just circle around her, and no one else is allowed to talk to her. And, like, wow. They have to communicate. Like, if you want to talk to her, you have to communicate through the executives. You know why, though? I feel like people at some point in Ellen's career probably just walked up to her and tried to get on the show by being interesting. Can you picture that? Like, because you have a show where hey, people are on there to hey, be interesting. Hey, hey, Ellen. Why I want chicken wings. <laughs> Put me on the show, but with chicken wings. And then be like, oh, there's chicken wings under everyone's seat. My favorite <laughs> kid that she's brought on that show is the fucking apparently kid. So apparently, 
We're at some fair, and apparently, I've never been on live TV before. <laughs> Wait, he just said apparently. Yeah, he said apparently was like a hundred times. Yeah, yeah that was his thing. <laughs> and the way he says it, because it's like apparently someone who looks like Ellen, Anthony. <laughs> I, I can this is see a that roast. Now. This is a roast. No, it's we okay. need. I feel like we either Let's get need, Anthony. Yeah, get on Anthony the on the podcast and not let me be on the co- podcast. No, no, no. This this time. was the fucking like we can't do it now because I'm gonna give away the plan. But the plan was one time we should we're just gonna have no 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 bring me and no. not knowing Anthony's gonna be here. Damn yeah. it, Dave! Yeah. Really? We're editing this out and Ryan's not gonna remember. <laughs> editing it out of my brain. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna mib you right now. Okay. Just like, <laughs> In case anyone was curious, uh, Malky will put his hand in front of uh, Ryan's face. Hey, and faster? Can you get to the, the, like, to the conclusion faster? Okay, sorry. Sometimes I <laughs> lose a word and it just happens. Yeah, don't you ever have words just that don't come out? No. It happens sorry. to me all the time. Yeah, it just turns to shit. It's like, oh, good idea shit. Good idea shit. That's why I'm afraid to talk to Chris. Oh, Dave. <laughs> that was a lie. That's not, that's not true. <laughs> Those are scary. DaveWeird.com is going to be filled with a, a lot of... At AOL.ca. AOL.ca.org. Yeah, hit him up on MSN Messenger. Well, it's not. AOL, I am. <laughs> Dave's on MSN Messenger. He's one of those guys who puts the music that he's listening to in the title. Yes. That actually was. Adam, Adam on MySpace. <laughs> That's what I did. He had a, he had a bunch <laughs> of em- emojis on there. I never had like an overdoing of emojis. It was just... Did you change? Dave. Can I ask you something? Did you ever change your name into a quote <laughs> at some point on MSN? Like my message was a quote? No, I'm just saying your name or your message. No, so my okay. name was always Dave in capital letters. Okay. And then I always had what I was listening to because I wanted people to know that I I was listening. That he's email. edgy. Yeah, that I was hey. edgy and listening like. Hey, email. everyone had an emo face. That's very true. I didn't. I did. <laughs> I think me and Charles had a discussion about our emo phases. <laughs> I used to dye my hair black black when I was in my phase. Okay, I never did that. <gasps> and then but I the also best... dyed my hair blue one time. The meanest <gasps> comment I've ever oh, Okay, no. I, I dyed my hair red one time. And my dad got mad. Okay, my mom's hairdresser. Backstory. My mom's hairdresser. So she's like, oh, Ryan, you want to do something with your hair? I was like, yeah, I dyed it red. So it's bright red. Like, Oh my god! Like, did she do you have your pictures? hair and stuff like that? I don't have pictures. Okay, yeah, oh but it was god, red, like be beautiful, like the reddest red you could ever imagine. And my oh. dad was like, "What the fuck? <laughs> like this is not okay." <clears throat> so, go back to my mom. And she puts in some British some hat. next chemical, and it makes it darker. So it's like a dark, dark maroon. So it's like barely even noticeable. Yeah. That's that's red, Charles. So then, <laughs> so then I I wake up the next morning, and my eyes are swollen shut, like. Like, my eyes are, like, fucking this. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I'm like, what the fuck? I can't I can't see anything. And I actually had an allergic reaction to the thing. Oh. But that day, we were going to the CNE. So oh. my mom dragged me to the CNE with swollen shut eyes. Oh. <laughs> Wait, are you sure it was even the CNE? What if she drove Yeah, she probably just else? drove me in a cabin in circles. <laughs> yeah. like, we're at the CNE, right? <laughs> just like I promised. Yeah. It's so much, it's, so it was much like fun. a Walgreens parking lot. Yeah, so that that's that's my story. Aww. That's all you need to know about my life. That's his. That was his counter to the emo story that you guys. Yeah, because it, it got into hair color and then. <clears throat> uh, in terms of embarrassing childhoods, <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't have. Going to, I didn't yeah. have an emo phase. Also, this isn't on the list of things I want to talk about, but you guys kind of seamlessly brought it up anyway. Yeah, it uh, I didn't have an emo phase. I don't want to talk about my childhood. I <laughs> didn't. I didn't talk to a lot of girls. Kind of like Dave now. <laughs> oh, <my God>. shots. <laughs> you touch shots at yourself. I do. I, I do take shots at myself fire. quite a bit. <laughs> I was out in field of the fire. It's um, not nice. What I did do was I played a lot of rock band in my basement. Nice. I made YouTube videos of me playing rock band in my basement. Do you have any of these? All of it. <laughs> Where? Just unlisted. Oh God! Unlisted You're never YouTube gonna page. find it. I'm sorry. But the cream of the crop of this. Was that around circa 2008? Well, Dark Knight was 2008, right? Yeah, uh, yes. Dave is a Dave is a Batman historian. Yeah, I would say yeah. 2008. Because I was I was going to grade nine when that came. Yeah, yeah, I was in grade nine. So the so Dark Knight was a really huge deal to me at least. Oh, because it was, enough, it was like probably the greatest thing I'd ever seen. Period. When it oh came my out. god, did you have a Dark Knight phase? I didn't have an emo phase. 
I had a dark night face. Oh my god, what was it? Here's what I did. I, was, I was I was 12 years old. I was you super were 12 into, years old when that came out? I was 12 out? years old. How old are you? I'm I'm 20. I can't, that's not eight years ago. I'd say. Wait, it's not eight years ago. I said 2008. I don't do math, so. Seven. <laughs> I was You'd like 12 13. or 13. Yeah, I mean, so that makes sense. Okay, I yeah. 14, yeah. Just weird I, was, I was 12 years old, like, maybe around the time. Okay, yeah. I guess I, I, was, turned I guess I was 12 years old. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm old. No, don't say that, because you realize older people <laughs> will hear that and be like, Dave, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anyways, so I didn't have an emo phase. I had a dark night phase. So what I would do was... It came out July 18th, 2008. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, Thank and you know what? Makes sense, because I turned 13 July 4th that year. Oh, that's that year. Your birthday changes. Yes, it changes every year. So, yeah. I move it wherever I want. Oh, nice. I always land on Independence Day though, because of Will Smith. Um, what up, <laughs> Ryan? Stop doing the black guy nod to every black actor we mention. Anyways, continue with your dark. My night dark night phase was I owned a Batman mask, which I still had, and a cape, and all of this stuff. And uh, what I would do is I would make YouTube videos of me as Batman. And I would just run around my neighborhood and cause all sorts of hell. <laughs> can can we please watch? <laughs> but one? it was all it was all like story. Like I was trying to make a story out of it. Right? But like, can you please show us this? <laughs> I I will give you. I I will tell you about it. I'm no, open no, 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 no. to talking about it, no, but no. I'm never gonna be like showing anybody. I else. want you to show this. Anyone who knows me though, anyone who knows me personally prior to college, even high school people that I'm friends with, know about this. It was all elementary school because I didn't unlist them until the end of high school. So at some point, a lot of people knew what I was up to when I was 13 years old. But I had like serialized storylines. So if you remember the 1960s Batman show, it was as cheesy as that. Nice. But add like the, the cheesiness of production value. George, Clooney's, George Clooney's Batman in Batman and Robin. Oh my god. Where my voice isn't nearly a, a, a low enough octave to be Batman. Can you so do a Batman voice for us? Right now? Yes. I can do a Batman voice. I can't do the Batman voice. Can you do the Batman voice you tried in these videos? It was just, I'm pretty sure it was just my normal speaking voice. Oh, that's lame. Try Batman voice. Alright. Where are the other guys voice? <laughs> 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 Rachel! <laughs> that, was pretty, that was pretty good. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> 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 I know mean, exactly what part is in that movie, too. <laughs> Where are the other drugs going? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> that was, that's good. Um, I like when he was like, when he talks under his breath, like he's trying to give a speech, and it's like, Sometimes, when you need to be the hero, you have to let other things go. And it's like, what the, what are you saying? No, <laughs> my favorite, my favorite entire, like out of all the trilogy <laughs> is, um, there's one part and it's, uh, I think he was talking to Catwoman and Catwoman, oh, like, so the third one. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At some point in the trilogy, when I he's said, talking to Catwoman. <laughs> yeah. So the third one, fuck off. <laughs> um, I'm editing that out. <laughs> Um, no, so he's, like, talking to her, and then she pulls what he does, where he, like, disappears, and he doesn't, he stays in Batman voice, like, he could have just been like, oh, so that's what it feels like, but in Bat he goes in Batman voice, oh, so that's what it feels like, and it's just, like, it's just, like, I think I, like, literally, I think I'm ripping completely off Kevin Smith at the moment, talking about the Dark Knight Returns, but, rises, rises. <laughs> got him. Anyway, Dave, I thought you were the Batman expert. I, I'm tired today. <laughs> but, um... Go ahead, Dave. But literally, they were just, like, saying, like, how... No one's around. Like, why did you have to keep that voice up? When, like, <laughs> it's to disguise yourself, but why are you continuing when no one is around? Just like, oh, so that's what it feels like. Well, wouldn't it be weird if she disappeared and was like, oh, so that's what it feels like. I think it would have just been but funnier. Also, why didn't he just say it in his head? Yeah. <laughs> because... Yeah, why can't you just show and not tell? Because Chris Nolan makers. wanted to make one joke in the Batman thing, okay? There's more than one joke. That's what the Joker was for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was that a hoo <laughs> moment? <laughs> Come on, his name is the Joker. I, I, I've been told I could do a good Joker impression. Yeah, but so, so did everyone in 2008. But I think I can. Alright, Dave, go for it. 
He needs prep time. No, this isn't even going to happen. <laughs> Want to know how I got these scars? How hmm. prepubescent Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's done. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was impressed with it. I was it was good. You didn't <laughs> even let me go in. Whatever, I'm done. <laughs> You, no, to, you had to make the no. joke. No, I'm not doing it now. You're making jokes. We're it's only like... allowed one per Batman movie, so you can do it now. I used the one joke. Want to know how? I can't even do it now because I'm looking at Mouthfeel. <laughs> Don't look at me. Come on. Want to know how I got these scars? Shut up, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Ryan didn't even say anything. <laughs> he, he did the... Okay. I can't you, do you just tell us how you got the stars. Can you? No, I'm not. Wanna know how I got this? Okay. <laughs> that's like that's like try five. Like, I, think, right. I think we got it. <laughs> no, we gotta hear it. <laughs> we gotta Ryan. We gotta see it through. My father was a drinker and a fiend. One night he goes on the little crazy. <laughs> 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 He was a drinker. Uh, that was a good impression, Dave. Shut up. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. That was good, Dave. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. What's that loud ass noise now, though? You got a loud noise. You got a microwave going. A microwave? Does that mean. We had to segue him in. <laughs> well, judging by that abrupt laughter. Hey, no big boy! Everyone's favorite big boy is here. <laughs> he's, my, he's my favorite recurring guest. It really cool because he has no choice. In the <laughs> it's like, damn, do I want to get some food or do I want to fucking put up with? Do I not want to put up with these guys? <laughs> I guess I'll deal with that just so I can get some food. Yeah, I just love the idea that in the middle of this podcast, you're just gonna hear, you're gonna hear clack again, <laughs> rising as I go. <laughs> 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 Nah, dude. Do we yeah. have do we have favorite Luca tracks? Does everyone have a favorite? That's my favorite. The new one, that yeah. Reaper. Reaper's Reaper's fire. fire. That was my favorite one. Fire. <laughs> mainly because I <laughs> mainly because I heard the like the production from beginning to end. Because oh, it was dang. like whatever me and Behind Luca were like just chilling side. in his room, it would just be like it would just be him working on it, and uh-huh. then for me hearing like one part over and over and over again, <laughs> which I didn't mind. I'm not sure from that, but it was just like it just like it. I finally was like, wow, that there's yeah, a lot of Yeah, turning into something. He's probably heard Reaper like 200 times. <laughs> not even <laughs> over a thousand problems. Not even, the full, <laughs> not even the full song. Like, I've just heard like the build up 200 <laughs> times. And then the next day again. Because <laughs> it's just so much work that went into that. <laughs> Actually, I take it back. My favorite track is when I sent him the grocery store song. <laughs> I still and have that on Several, the several months later. He sent me a he sent me a download to a trap remix of the grocery store. <laughs> no, I have it. It's gonna be our outro music. Down to our outro music. Yeah, all all love to Luca. Maybe it's voice. Bye, Ryan. <laughs> he does, he says hello when people say goodbye. I don't understand it. You say goodbye and I say hello. Copyright, copyright. Cut this out, cut this out. That's the Dave song. You just said cut this out to the tune of a cause edit song. So Ryan, what are you doing after the podcast? I'm going to see the weekend. That's about it. Are you not gonna feel your face? I'll probably feel my face a little bit. I don't know. You should tell your friends about it. Yeah. <laughs> weekend references. Yeah. Uh, I don't know any other references. Uh, with all my real friends. Ooh, Ooh shots how, fired. how often do you, do you listen to the weekend? Is it a trilogy of friends? Okay, we're going in now. It's a house of balloons. What? <laughs> I, I want this, chicken wings. Is this real? <laughs> <laughs> Referencing stuff from no, now, earlier now the weekend, in the episode. The weekend has to do a song called I Want Chicken Wings. Oh, fun and fact. It has to feature Anthony in it. Fun fact, fun fact, the weekend went to the same high school as me. Whoa. Whoa. Not at the same time, but Whoa. he did. That's dope, actually. Yeah. Cool story. Yeah. So he probably has a tattoo on his ass, too. <laughs> Maybe I you guys have that. the same tattoo. I hope so. You have the same tattoo, and then one day you just... Uh, In the, like, tonight, I'm just going to pull it out, and he's going to be on stage, and he's going to stop mid can't feel your face, and just point me out and be like, come on stage. Come, come on stage. We're going to pull our asses out on stage. <laughs>
to be amazing. Riot has <laughs> high expectations for his concert. Yeah, really. Experiences. Riot and is well, you aim for the you aim for the stars, and it's true. Anything else than that is just. Is that another weekend reference? I don't listen no, to that one. No, it's right. not. Okay. I think um, he's shooting for the moon, but hoping to land on a star. Uh, wow. Very insightful. Dave's poetry hour. Dave, yeah. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of which, though, Dave, uh, since you think Ryan has high concert expectations, what's your dream concert, just in general? Oh. Think, think like your favorite artist or favorite you know band or whatever. I would. Okay. Your ideal situation, though. Okay. If Freddie Mercury was alive. Okay. No, would, this is a good start. It would easily be Queen. Okay. And then if it was like, almost like a festival-like thing. A festival-like thing. A, fe- a thing like festivals? Yeah. Yes, festivals. Yeah. In reality. <laughs> um, it'd be Queen. Okay. Guns N' Roses with the original lineup. Okay. So none of that, like, fake, like, Axl Rose is Guns N' Roses with a new band. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. With, like, Slash and Duff and all those guys. Okay. And then Nirvana if Kurt Cobain was alive. That would be, like... I could, and you would just be in the audience. Would you want to be in that? Would you be want to? Would you want to be up there? Would I want to be on the stage? Yeah, in it's some, your ideal concert. Remember that. I feel like if I were anything on stage, it'd be working. Where I'd be like <laughs> doing, like this is a, doing something where I would not be able to focus fully on the show. So I feel there's part of me that would love to work on a concert like that. Yeah, but I would love, love. Uh, Dave, we're losing you. you... Just, just to be in the audience, okay. just to witness that. All right, that's that's Dave's dream concert. Right now, Ryan, what was your dream concert? I don't know. Is it pulling your ass out with the weekend? No, that's not my dream. No. So uh, Marvin Gaye. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a big. I'm not a big concert guy. Yeah. Uh, Malkiel. Yeah. What about you? What about you? My dream concert will be working on stage of Dave's dream concert. <laughs> so like, Dave, I'm closer than you. Dave, I'm where you're not. <laughs> I've infiltrated your dreams, Freddy Krueger style. Aw, oh, bitch. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll both oh, of you it out at the same time. <laughs> what about you, Charles? I don't know. Action uh, Bronson? That would be a cool one. Every time, yeah. Like, last night times where I was going to go see him. Canada fucked him, fucked him, didn't bring him out. <laughs> What's his <name? laughs> We needed a burp break with Ryan, apparently. Burp break, it's a burp break. What, what, what is your dream concert, though? Yeah, so Bronson. Uh, oh my god, like, is it just a one, is it a, like, is it a... Is Do it a three, a three day, a three person, three, three person, person show, that, that's yeah, what they... I just three, so keep it, keep it in the... Three, ooh, okay. I think I have mine now. Okay, you, you go. No, no, no. No, you, you go. go. You go. You go. No, I'm you... working on mine. You go. Well, then you can't just say I have mine. I've got say, one. I'm I've on got it. one. Yeah. Go ahead. I still don't like. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna just start writing mine out so I don't forget. <laughs> can I do like a bunch of affiliates? Yes. Sure. So like, if like, there was like a good music, like everyone from Good Music was just like, hey, okay. we're doing a concert, and then it was just like. Pro era, everyone in like the Ooh. Beast Coast. Okay, the Beast Coast. So like Flatbush yeah. Zombies, Pro Era, Underachievers. Okay, Dave. Like Action Bronson, and then like I don't know. Man, I don't know if 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 everyone, if just everyone came together, just like everyone come together. Yeah, copyright. All right, come all over me. Us. I've got I've got mine. Go. <laughs> Got mine. You ready for this? Yeah. This is real. This is real, you guys. Okay. So Michael McDonald. <laughs> this is not real. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke. This is no, a joke. This is Welcome real. to a This joke. is my dream concert. This is my dream concert. All right, you know what? Let him have it. Let him have concert. it. Okay, Let go. me have my dream concert, all right? The Zach Brown band. Oh, God. But Burt Reynolds is Zach Brown. Oh, God. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> and here's the icing on the cake, all right? This is the cherry on top of this cream soda. <laughs> what? Cream soda. Why would I put cherry on top of cream? It would just sink to the bottom. Let me finish this, all right? Let me let me just fit, finesse the ending here. This is it. This is the big finish. Can he sink the landing? And Luke of his DJ. Hey. <laughs> Bam! Tell me you don't want to hear that. 
That's gonna be majestic. <laughs> Michael McDonald's on stage with his piano. Suggests just singing his name. He can't sing anything else but his name. And then the Zach Brown band, sans Zach Brown, but with Burt Reynolds just up there. I don't think he'd be singing. He'd probably just be acting, maybe doing a monologue of some sort. And then Luke Hub's just DJing under all of it. <laughs> You just got his tracks going under all of that. It's just going to be like a whimsical time for everyone. I feel it's... like that's just a mismatch of <laughs> <Yeah>. sounds. <laughs> Isn't that what music has always been set out to be? No, it's... <laughs> no. Okay, so I think I got mine. <laughs> so, it would probably... Okay, so so Watch the Throne. It would be like... Okay, the, yeah. The, that's Jay-Z killing. And Kanye, yeah. Like, together watching the throne, obviously. Um, watching. There has to be a throne Not partaking with there. the throne, they're watching Just, just watching. Throne. And then... Probably Man on the Moon Kiketi. Okay, so not so like, anything post moon. Not man. not post yeah. fuck that. It's yeah, because he's horrible. Man. Yeah. Um and then what happened to Kiketi? He fucking uh, got weird. I'll tell you what happened. He had the Erica Badu effect without Erica Badu. Expand on that. <laughs> anyone uh, anyone who sleeps with Erica Badu apparently just takes a weird like downward spiral in their musical career. <laughs> For instance, Andre, Andre 3000 has not done anything lately. I miss him. Come back, Andre. Well, <laughs> he, played, uh, he, played, didn't they he played Jimi Hendrix in an autobiography. Which no, and they wasn't... also did a few outcast shows. Yeah. And then they said, no, we're not doing this ever again. Yeah, see that? Well, what's up with that? What'd you do, Erica? Erica Badu. Listen, no wonder Erica you Badu, you're fantastic. Gavin. But what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. It's something weird about Apparently, that. Apparently, also, Kend- Kendrick Lamar was hanging around with her. But hanging around. See, that's the difference. There's there's sleeping with Erica Badu and hanging around her. Because both Kendrick and Chance hang around Erica Badu. But they never do the Badu. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hashtag uh, do the Badu. Okay, then my third my third is uh, obviously Iggy, Iggy Azalea. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I thought um, you said Iggy Blue Australia just now. I tried to. No, okay, not Iggy Azalea. That's dumb. That's a dumb. That's a dumb joke. Um, it would be probably Childish Gambino. All right. So wait. So just to be real, Gambino, Cuddy, and Watch the Throne. Yeah. All right. Let's that say. actually, I would go see that. I'd see that too. That sounds like a pretty because dope it's show. Free Man on the Moon. Free Man. Yeah. No, no, no. Man on the Moon. Po- not man nothing post Man on the Moon. I've never listened to Kid Cuddy. Buddy, that was One, like one, two, three. <laughs> Oh, correction! I heard that one song. What, Pursuit of Happiness mixed by Steve Aoki. No. Day and night. Yeah, and that's Day it. Night. That's the laziest song in the world. Yeah, I'm but it's sorry. fire. It just sounds like it's, it's still it's... fire. I still fucking go off on the time. Yeah, it's awesome. I love there it. There was like a, a Crooks so remix lazy. of that, and oh, it's yeah. fire. It's fire. <laughs> well, they filmed it in like, or they recorded it in like a closet or something. It was like in like a closet or like. Alright. Something small like that. This is all dream concerts. Oh, I think all of us have gone. Yeah. Really. You know who we haven't yeah, asked, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I said, uh, Queen, if Freddie Mercury was alive. Pretty concert. much every band that has a dead person in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dave's dream concert is bringing people back to life. <laughs> so yeah, it was basically Queen, Nirvana, and then Guns N' Roses with their original lineup because they yeah, they refu- yeah. they refuse yeah. to play together. Now. Yo, Luca, because they hate each other. Dream <laughs> concert, buddy. Dream concert, hit it up. Fuck man, um... three times. <laughs> I can't that would be fire. That would be fire. It's like so. seven hours of Skrillex. Yeah, or just. Insane. And um, then Skrillex leaves and comes back with his emo band <laughs> <laughs> and plays oh. another three sets. Or, or just Avicii playing levels on repeat for 24 hours? <laughs> There's levels. <laughs> I would kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best joke. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay, speaking of which, give us a couple seconds. Jesus. Come closer to the table when you talk. Yeah. Luca, when you do figure out what your dream concert is, come over here. Okay. <laughs> So, Balkia, you can play, uh, oh. speaking of concerts, when are we going to get a concert of your ukulele playing? My ukulele playing? Fun story, yeah. there's an oh. open mic night at Lynx. <gasps> like, oh, November 11th. Wait, 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 wait. What, kind, what kind of open mic, though? Any, like, open, anything? Open, like, literally open AF. Oh, damn. Like, wide open. Oh, damn. Like, I should just do stand-up. Can can you can I be I'll be there to cheer you on and stuff, and then when I go up, you do the exact same thing. And we'll be the only people laughing at each other's jokes. 
low support system. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do stand up together. Oh, that'd be good. But then what? Do we need each other for moral support? We can't stand up on our own? How's that go? That's Dave? the joke. That's you, what you just said right there. <laughs> that's the joke that we try to figure out throughout the entire season. Oh, can I tell Can I tell a first year story that I just remembered just now? Yeah. So uh, Karen bumped into me in the hallways. Oh, yeah. And uh, well, quite literally, I was on my way to the edit suite. And... Wait, is this... Is this first year or a story? No, no, no. About it's a story the about first the year. first years okay. right now. Oh, okay. okay. So Karen was like on her way out of the studio. I was like, oh, hey, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, hey, Karen. And and she's like, chop it up with and she was like, hey. <laughs> and, and, and she's like, guess what? And I'm like, now we're entering a new territory. <laughs> she's going further with this. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and she goes, do you remember your studio show from first year? And I'm like, how could I possibly forget, Karen? <laughs> and she goes, well, do you remember when Michael Nolan was standing in front of the green screen and he was doing his weather bit and there was an MS Paint drawing behind him that you painted of a really, it was a very bad drawing and you wrote Michael's name at the bottom? I'm like, yeah, that all rings a bell. And she goes, well, the first years love it and they use it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, wait, and it still says Michael Nolan, age 23 at the bottom, right? And then she's like, yes, it does. And I'm like, thank you, Karen. <laughs> Beautiful. Don't clap me. I love like, it. Oh, thank you. Can we, can we please get Mike on this podcast? Michael Nolan, look, he wanted to be on today and he was like, uh, sorry guys, I can't, I, I got work early today, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, he told me that and then I was like, all right, Suburban White Dad. <laughs> uh, stop playing around. <laughs> He is the super boy dad. Even like I love like I love that dude. But even when he's like sitting like watching like speakers, sorry. When he's sitting watching speakers, he just sits like such a dad because he's got like his hands like yeah, this on his <laughs> just, just to be, just to be clear. He's all like lounged out as much as he can, like his feet are like is stretched and he's just got his head back a little bit. He's looking like this and he's just like got some, He raises like, raises his hand. He raises yeah. his hand and then he's just like he has like the most like Eloquent dad question. Yeah, it's just like, so financially, what would you say uh, would cause you to do this? Or something like that. Like, just something... Would you say that would be fiscally responsible? <laughs> wow, all right. I think we're giving him a little too much credit. <laughs> I've never heard that out of him. <laughs> what I've heard is they will. They will? Charles Alphique? Bonsoir, mes amis. Bonsoir. Oh, Luca, I was about to bring up... Um, we were talking about how everyone met for the first time earlier, and I mentioned how the first person I met in the program <laughs> was, was you. I, I, I actually met Dave like in residence. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Orientation. orientation. Yeah, the orientation. orientation. Yeah. You, came, you came I up. saw you in residence. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, you saw me in residence the night before. Yeah. And then uh, the next day you came up to me during orientation, or like, hey, nice shoes. <laughs> 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 nice shoes. <laughs> That's how you and I was fun. like, and I was so confused because I was, I was a little hungover. Dude, I love how you remember that. That's awesome. I was a little hungover and I just like didn't get the, like obviously it, to Luca it was like a big joke, but to me <laughs> I didn't understand that it was him joking. So it took me a second. I was like, oh, thanks. And then he's like, and then I looked at him I'm like, oh, you have the same shoes. Like that's yeah, why. That's <laughs> like, I was just so confused when you initially oh were God. like, nice shoes. Oh I'm like. They're just fans. Like I don't know. Guys, like uh, this is this is a surprise, but I think I just went through everything I wanted to talk about. Oh uh, yay! You know what that means? Get out. It's canceled. It's canceled. We, we're canceling the podcast. Oh, <laughs> damn it! This, I feel like this is my fault. <laughs> no, it's all Michael Nolan's fault. Well, I yeah, was going to say you blame it on Anthony. Uh, Always blame it on Anthony. <laughs> They're emotional. Fuck you guys! This is cyberbullying. <laughs> I want chicken wings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Luca doesn't know. We'll tell you after the podcast is done. It's, which is now. No. Wait, wait. We need our outro, remember? Because uh, anyways, we have the as, grocery store music going over. Anyways, yeah. as always, we'd like to thank you for uh, tuning in, and we're sorry that you listened to this all the way through. I'm Dave Weir. Uh, I'm Mal Joe Cabrera. Charles Alfred. And I'm Ryan. 
And we'd like to say thank you again for tuning in to the regular Tuesday podcast. We'd also like to thank our, our financial supporters, like Luca Music. Please go check out. He's paying us. He's paying us to do this. <laughs> He's paying us to plug him. He's paying us in a sound scan uh, checks to plug us. <laughs> you say sound scan? <laughs> <laughs> Can't end the podcast without one more Dave slip up. You know what? That's it. That was it. That was it for the night. Good night, everyone. Thank That's you. A wrap. Have a good week. <laughs> Have a good rest of the week. Thank you for listening. Subscribe for more. See you next Tuesday. I'm just there too, and it's like, oh hey, come on, hey, oh let's. I can't believe you just that said that. That, oh. bothered me. that episode would have bothered me because Kevin James is in it. What did you like? Everybody loves Raymond. No, no. Yeah, well, okay. No, so that was a terrible. That's show. forgiven. Raymond is that boring awesome. as fuck. Raymond is just like. Here's an entire episode of Everybody Loves Raymond. Mm-hmm. The piano intro is just. Ray no. sitting on the couch. His kids are running around. Oh, the game is on. Deborah, grab the kids. And it's like Ray, I'm divorcing you. I don't know if she was Jewish actually. Yeah, I don't know. That's I hate weird. my mother. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brad Garrett. Yeah. La- there then, we go. The okay. laugh track. Laugh track. <laughs> and then fucking fade to black. Everyone loves Raymond. There you go. That's all you need to know. About <laughs> and then Kevin James appears on it, and Ryan hates him so yeah, hard. I would, I would fight Kevin James in a in okay. a ring. All right. Um, let me. Let I would me... fight a bear to get the opportunity to fight Kevin. You James. would fight he a would bear, fight... post or he... pre <laughs> Melissa McCarthy. That's what I was about to say. He'd fight <laughs> Melissa McCarthy dressed as a bear eating a sub sandwich just to fight Kevin. James. Yes, I would. I would do all of that. That is a long line of questioning. That's, it sounds like something Ernie Hudson would have mentioned. Ernie Hudson doesn't have shit on me, okay? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Ryan has thrown more shit in the first <laughs> ten minutes than Charles did in the whole podcast. It's insane. How dare you? You're coming at everyone. He's all coming right. out the gates, arms swinging. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. Yes. We had a run-in uh, last weekend during Halloween no, week. No, no, we didn't. Are we, Shut are up. We but like, I want to talk about your costume. Oh, okay. You okay, can talk yeah. about my costume. Let's talk about your costume. Halloween. Which which costume? Yes, there Ryan was there was two. those costumes. Okay. Yeah. Your Vince LaSalle costume. Yes. Beautiful. Vince Perfect. LaSalle. It was actually like that was <laughs> that was on point. Yeah, that was on point. How did you make it? Like, okay. what did you? What did you? What yeah, how did you do? Oh, that? okay. Crazy. Was, can can we just easy. stop for a second? This is the time where we talk about do you like us to do it yourself? Say do you do it yourself under the influence? <laughs> under the influence, keyword. <laughs> okay, so it was it was pretty easy. I mean, I'm a big fan of making your own costumes, so I was like, Same. I was like, this is gonna be easy. So I took a little trip to Value Village and I bought uh, 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 <laughs> yes, and then I Sorry, bought a green insights. a green T-shirt. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I left Value Village and I went to American Apparel oh, and damn. bought some gold wristbands. Oh, shit. Like, oh damn, was... they were gold? Yeah, fire. The, the wristbands were the most expensive part of the costume. Yeah, because <laughs> you went to American Apparel. Where am I going to get gold wristbands, okay? That why is did true. they have to be gold? Wasn't I they, thought they were going wearing yellow around. sweatbands. Yeah. So why yeah, isn't same, everything on sale? Gold, same yellow, different. same thing. <laughs> yeah, so then... was like, I like do what you sell costumes, but I need to have gold wristbands. <laughs> <laughs> like solid. You know gold. what I mean? I the need fibers gold. were coated in gold. solid gold. Yeah. No, okay, so I, I got the wristbands and I went home, cut the green t-shirt into a jersey. Nice. Right? And then I already had a gray t-shirt and some uh, some cargo khaki kind of kind of shorts. shorts. Yeah. Uh-huh. And then I just grew my hair up for a little bit and kind of yeah. like... You give yourself like the high laz- top thing? Lazy, lazy high top thing? Yeah. Because like Vince has hair on the side. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. It's yeah. like... Yeah, no. We should, uh, can we link a picture of your Vince LaSalle costume? Uh, yeah, I got a shitty mirror picture of it. That's all right. Just send it. Send it's it pretty, to us later. It's pretty embarrassing. I mean, we'll link it. <laughs> it's pretty embarrassing. But I mean, let me tell you about how I copped it, though. But I mean, you're talking to the guy with the tattoo on his ass, so nothing. I have, oh, I have right. literally no we shame. All about that. I literally uh, have I no didn't shame. Even know about it. Never you never it. saw it. Well, there oh, have well, to be. I have a picture. <laughs> it's always a myth. It's been a myth. I've seen it. Dave, I don't. I lose track of who's seen it and who hasn't. Oh, you showed me the tattoo. I, I was like, I thought it was going to be the Vince LaSalle costume. 
<laughs> no, that's just Ryan's butt. This is on. Like, is that like five a.m. on on Spadina? You know what's you know what's great. After, now I'm gonna have. I don't to know if it was stamp. before or after Chinese. Food, I'm gonna but... have to timestamp this moment as talking about Ryan's butt. <laughs> butt <laughs> it's like talk. Butt talk with Ryan. I love butts. Uh, speaking of your hatred of Melissa McCarthy, though, yes, yes. Go uh, on. And this goes for everybody, actually, even if you don't hate Melissa McCarthy. But now that they've, it's been announced who's going to be in the new Ghostbusters, who would you rather the new Ghostbusters be? Who would I? You're, like, you're if, four. You're if top. Be female? It doesn't have to be female. It can be a mix of male and female or just all male, like the originals. But who do you think would do a better job than the four that they chose? Uh, I think they should have Donald Glover in it. Yes, yes. I would agree. I agree. Donald Glover. I agree. Okay. Um, He's gonna I also be the think Egon. that I should be in it. Yes, no. Well, why don't we actors. just be the Ghostbusters then? If you're gonna be in it, why do you get to be the only one? Yeah. Why do you get Glover? to be like working with Donald Glover? <laughs> yeah. What is that about, huh? Yeah, what the fuck, Charles? <laughs> well, it's always been a dream of mine. Too. <laughs> yeah. It's not like it hasn't been any for anyone else in this room. I can't wait till we get Donald on the podcast. <laughs> oh yeah. Yo, imagine just like no, that, that would fantastic. never happen. Hey, Donald, that's what you think. What up? Come here. <laughs> Donald, Donald. Ryan's using black ESP to get Donald's yeah. attention. Yeah. yeah, we just do, sometimes we just do black, side, uh, black guy stuff. What do you do? We do black guy stuff together. <laughs> I, they do black stuff okay, to each what other. What do you think, what do you think black guys do when they're not around? They do black guy stuff. That's fair. Yeah. Well, you I know, can't speak on that. I had a, I I had an encounter with a, a fellow black friend. I could have just said friend. I don't know why I did that. I had an encounter with Jamal. Jamal. Well, I'm going to mention because he wanted to mention a while ago. Shout out to Jamal. Out Jamal, to Jamal, I love you. What up? Jamal, what up? Um, Jamal, I had an encounter with Jamal Jamal's where he told me that he, what he gets a lot is like a, an elderly black person, whether it's a man <laughs> or a woman, will come up to him and be like, just talking to him like it's normal because he's black. <laughs> like, well, no, that's guys, a thing. You guys have never experienced the black eye nod. Yeah, no, we've never. In, that's that's what he called in it. Public, in, yeah, you walk by a black guy in public, and you're both burning the wood. Well, just to <laughs> just to clarify, Some Ryan did the black guy not. Sometimes master of this type of like fighting skill. That's like the uh, like drunken the, master. Yeah, exactly. Like Didn't drunk... he die in the third one? No, he was actually the character to vote that Palpatine goes into like full power. Ooh. So there's another reason to hate Jar Jar <laughs> because he helped the Empire rise to power by being the deciding vote. Are you sure he wasn't just really stupid and that he didn't know what he was voting for? It's all for? a front. That's exactly it. That's front. what this That's theory cool. says. I like, all... I like this I like this theory. He probably has a very suave English accent. <laughs> well he is played by uh he is played by an English black guy, I think. English black guy. That's yeah. my dad. <laughs> <laughs> English black guy. You know what English is... black guy I'd like to have on the podcast? My dad? Dean? I was gonna say Ryan's dad. Yeah my oh. dad that's awkward. Dean works too. Hey, oh. Dean, if you're listening, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Dean's too classy for this shit. Yeah. He's way too classy. You wouldn't come on and, and educate us with. He also British doesn't like bright thing. colors, so. That's really? Cool. What? Yeah. That's a weird thing to not. You're like. lying to me what? about this. I will call Dean right now. No, no. I you don't have his number. Save, that, very save that for the end of the, the podcast. <laughs> when we do our little. Yeah. <laughs> Where is Adam Dean. now? <laughs> Dean. Our, our buddy Adam. <laughs> I love that, like, you cut into it. This is... Oh, they, oh, yo, they prepped that quick. Wow. What's her name? What's her name? Are we name? still on is this? Is it Domino's? Pizza? Yeah. Okay, what's the name? What's the name? Like, so-and-so did your pizza. Yeah, who did my pizza? Yeah, who did our pizza? Last time I, we gotta yeah. call them and tell them not to do like, that anymore. It was like, Priya, put it in the oven. <laughs> oh. Domino's, please don't do our pizza. It does not. Jeremy. Priya. Priya. Oh, Priya. Priya. Priya, Priya from my... Domino's, if Priya, you're listening. Priya, you're bae. <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, Ryan loves bae. you to an extent. If you were making burritos, Ryan oh, would oh. love you more. I'd, have, oh I'd already slap a ring on Ryan wouldn't be here anymore. I already slapped He would have left like 40 minutes in. We're not even like 40 minutes in. Are you kidding me? With how we talk, we're probably 80 minutes in already. That's true. And we're Seven probably going to cut out 60 of it. Because yeah, because, <laughs> not because of me. I am not saying anything that I'm regretting so far. So that's we're true, good. that's so true. Far. <laughs> so we far. We literally just started recording. Yeah, but that's, I'm well, not going also... into any YTV tangerines. Like this. <laughs> Tan- you say tangerines? Tangerines. Tangerines. No y- more tangerines, you guys. Let's, no stay, on YTV YTV Let's stay on topic with these tangerines. We're talking about the fruit of the bank. Ooh, good question. <laughs> that is a good question. Speaking of tangerines. There's a bank called Tangerine? Yeah. Apparently <laughs> <laughs> they're a fire bank. I don't Who know. says this? I don't know. Themselves? Yeah, they, yeah. Ryan's British dad says <laughs> this. Hey, he actually did. Don't talk shit. 
I actually said, hey, Ryan, consider getting an account with Pedro. Ryan, Ryan, what do you think about that first episode? Yeah, outsider. you listen oh, to it. Right? You listen to it. First. Like out of ten, I'd give it like a seven. Oh, yeah, that's you know, a good start. That's you know, a good, what, that's, that's, that's better than I thought. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to check out how many. I, I was I was interested the entire time. My I I asked my friend I'm like, yo, can you please like go check out this podcast? And she was just like, no, I don't want to hear you laugh at yourself for like an hour. <laughs> and I was, just so, very I was true. so offended, but yeah. at the same time, I was like, yeah, it's true. you got to. It's point. very true. You got to. But you know what? It's the first podcast. So that means because we had that first podcast yeah. and it sucked and yeah. we all kind of just laughed at our own jokes, yeah. we can do that again this time on the second podcast. Yeah, no. That wasn't leading to something better. That was just me saying that we're not going to evolve. <laughs> we're just going to continue. To Yo, vulnerable. Spectre comes out tomorrow? Huh? Yeah. I just Man, I have been new, like the new James Bond. Yeah, yeah I have not apparently. been on the ball as far as James Bond movies. Listen, I'm I still have not watched any of the Daniel yeah. Craig ones. Um, really? Can I? Can I be Casino Royale is fire. Can I be a thousand percent truthful? Skyfall is fire. It's no, it's Casino Royale is bae. Like, come on. Okay, Casino Royale is sick. Quantum of Solace <laughs> is terrible. Is it? It I couldn't get through two least, minutes of that one. I actually. could. I watched it because my. It was one time I remember when I was younger. My um. <laughs> My grandpa was just like, you want to go see uh, Quantum of Solace? Uh-huh. And I was just like, I was like, yeah, sure. Like, I hadn't seen Casino Royale yet at that point or yeah. anything. But I went and saw Quantum of Solace and I was like, so bored. I was like, this is complete shit. <laughs> like, the entire movie is so, like, even my dad, I, I think he even said, like, it was hard to follow. But then I saw Skyfall again with my grandfather and my uncle. And it was like, whoa, this is how a spy movie should be. <laughs> Skyfall? Yeah. You're referring to Skyfall, right? Yeah, I like Skyfall. I think I like, Skyfall is one Because of, of Skyfall, I'm excited for Spectre. Okay. okay. That's, a, that's a good reason in it, I think. I'll be a thousand percent truthful. I've never finished a James Bond movie. Ever. Are you serious? Ever. I've Actually, no way. Casino Royale, maybe. Hey. hey it's guys. okay. We got external power. Hey, guys. If you're just tuning in now, the power cut out. And Yo, the power... What? And whatever Luke is making is not working anymore. He's making babies. <laughs> no. <laughs> got something else in the oven he's <laughs> well since the power is out <laughs> the power is out this is awkward dave dave would you would you say that you were prepared for emergencies like this no we're not like is your is your <laughs> house zombie fortified is there a backup generator no but i'm gonna go light a candle you rations don't buy candles don't worry there's there. pizza on the way yeah, yeah. we, we can't track it Korea. It could come anytime in the next 40 minutes. I, I told them to call me when they're coming uh, that's, that's a veteran that's move. A good, that's, that's a, good a veteran move. That's how you know you order pizza. That's a veteran <laughs> move. Yeah, call. <laughs> Ryan's <laughs> rates you for that. No, you Ryan typed call on arrival. Yeah. And they call you. They're like, I'm here. I have a feeling if I went through here. Ryan's oh, address hello. book, most of hello, it would be fast food chains. Oh, hello, I'm here. No. I have pizza for you. No. I'm Burrito chain. I don't know if it's even just eyebrows. It's just like. What's that about? I don't have that with Asians. I wouldn't say daily. Like weekly? Yeah, maybe once a week. Yeah, yeah, once a week. Like yeah. it, it, I guess it just has to be a person like you so, respect enough to do yeah, it. It's just the respect thing. It's like, oh, hey, fellow black man. <laughs> what up? You just grind into this world. It's hard. It's hard with all these white people. <laughs> I, <laughs> agree. <laughs> I, I agree, Ryan. I, I agree wholeheartedly. Sitting right here. <laughs> it, is, it is hard, Ryan. It's hard. I didn't do anything personal to you. <laughs> Stop trying to make it into a... No, it's okay, to white a people. singular problem. It's not your fault specifically. I'm kidding. I love you, white people. <laughs> you people. Back on the <laughs> back on the topic, though. Back on the topic. Well, so well, Donald well. Glover. Oh. Who else? Who else can fill that out? Okay. I don't say Chris Pratt. Mm, don't say Chris tough. Pratt. That is tough. Because, is because I feel like everyone on the internet loves Chris Pratt, so we have to somehow avoid using him. In okay. This, in this ghost Nicholas Cage. <laughs> Oh, that is <laughs> so good. Nicholas Cage? Yeah. He plays this. Yeah, he's Egon. Uh, here are my other I two. I thought Donald would be Egon because he no. was the nerdy scientist in mm. The Martian. No, I want Donald to be like the funny guy. In it. Yeah. Like, I want him to be kind of like, He's not even the funny guy in real life anymore. <laughs> Yeah, he's hey, he's got a new comedy coming out on FX called Dude, Atlanta. Is it, is it a Check comedy? It is it a comedy? Well, I have a plug. feeling it's gonna end up being like. I thought it was a drama. Kind of no, it's it's a, gonna be Louis. I, I heard for comedy. rappers. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Good job getting around that copyright, man. I love that. Okay, so Nicolas Cage, Donald Glover. We'll figure out their roles later. Let's Bill just get Murray. a solid four. No, <laughs> not just Bill Murray again. <laughs> yeah, just Bill Murray. Bill Murray can be Slimer. No, I was gonna say Chris Pratt can be Slimer. 
Well, I just that's one fat again. And just like super, no, just superimpose his face over like. Did you know that Slimer was basically uh, the ghost of John Belushi? <laughs> yeah. That's what his role was in the movie. It was like, because they wanted John to be a part of them, right? Before Ghostbusters. But it was like, John did too much coke, so we're just going to turn him into a green, slobbering <laughs> ghost <laughs> of his former self. But yeah, oh that's that's actually how that went. Are you guys that surprised that John no, Belushi you know what? died of coke? No, you know who I wa- would want? <laughs> Is that not? Is that just not a, a topic that's out Maybe there? you know who could do like, if we were going like the hipster route. Oh, Dave's doing the hipster Jerry route. Jerry No, Jared no, no, Leto. not. Oh, I thought you were gonna say Jerry Leto. No, Jerry Leto would be amazing. Jerry Leto would, would be a get. You know, he, would he was on like, Uncle Stan. He would play the villain. Okay. Jerry Leto would play the villain. Okay. But okay, I would say we add Andrew Garfield as Egon. Andrew Garfield. Um, <laughs> uh, if you wanted to go like the hipster nerdy like way, but I think they should all at least have some sort because of, you know um who was it Harold Ramis was Egon right and yeah. Harold Ramis was a comedy writer so at least he had the chops to be funny right yeah that is true so yeah. if you put Garfield in it cool I don't stress. I pers- <laughs> I said funny we're not on the hipster <laughs> route anymore okay no, he no. wasn't even the funniest person on a show that was destined to be funny for children <laughs> oh ooh, you know who else should be in it. Uh, Adam Devine. Oh yes. oh yes, yes, I like this idea. Or, like or we idea. just get all three of the workaholics and put them. <laughs> well, no, I think Adam, Adam, <laughs> Devine, Adam Devine should be in it. Or should Blake be in Anderson. it, but I think the other two should be like just in the movie. Yeah, together. obviously. But Devine definitely Yo, should be a Ghostbuster. Um, I would say. <laughs> Dave, Dave, love the transitioning. By, uh, love the transitioning. Okay, no, I would say Blake would have to be. Um, like uh rick romana's character in it. Like, rick moranis's character yeah he would have to be like the nerdy like kind of guy that's just trying to impress girls and whatnot but he deals with the ghost the most like i like that idea too actually like i would dig him as like that like awkward where are we okay where are we at now though so we have donald glover we have donald glover nicholas cage, cage adam divine adam divine blake, blake as someone else fire. blake as someone else we chris need... pratt as slimer we need our fourth Ghostbuster. We do need a fourth Ghostbuster. I believe it should be an unknown. It should be an unknown. A quite yeah. unknown, well-known character. I say we get Uncle Stan. A young <laughs> David Weir. A young, a young <laughs> David Weir. Actually, out of the four of us that are here in this room right now, who do you think would make a good fourth Ghostbuster to that Ryan. pairing? Ryan? Yeah, we gotta, Dave's votes for it's Ryan. It's 2015. It's got to be diverse. Actually, you know be what? Two let's, black guys. Let's yeah. make it. Let's make like it a that. hashtag. Let's make it a hashtag. Oh no, I know who. Fourth Ghostbuster. Hashtag fourth Ghostbuster, and then tag or at one of us. Okay, if it's all of our Twitters are gonna be in the description. Okay, but if you think we'd make a good. If I'm not the fourth Ghostbuster, it's Michael B. Jordan. Oh, oh! what are we doing with our lives that we didn't how think did, Michael B. Yeah, Jordan? how did I we feel, miss that? I feel so. I'm sorry. Sad with myself. Michael B. Crazy. Jordan is killing it too. The, the B stands for Bay. Other, <laughs> other than the fact that he was in Fantastic Four. No, no. What Fantastic Four? What Miles Teller. About? He was in it too. He did fine. Oh Miles wait, Teller's Miles great. Teller would have been. Well, you don't like Why you don't like Miles Teller? You don't I'm like Miles Teller? Fan. Oh wow! Did you wow, like Whiplash? Did Whiplash not get to you? I, no, Listen, stop talking about Whiplash. Do you have, do you have emotional Whiplash? No, I no, no, no. His best not? role. His best role, Project X. Yes. I remember yes. Project X. Oh my god. He was like the, the base, He's a baseball player. It, oh, of course. Yeah, Ryan likes him for that. Ladies, Ryan. I liked him for the first what scene up? where he... Uh... Ryan plays baseball. I, I don't remember. Formally. Oh, he's here. Retired. retired. He's retired. Why? He's sitting on stats. Mm-hmm. You're like 21, dude. Yeah, yeah, and I ended up on top, okay? I <laughs> fucking came, third, came third in Provincials. In the Yay! Yay! The Bay Power oh, Game on! Thank you, Priya. Yeah, I didn't really want to talk about this one. That's fine. <laughs> I'm calling when I am here. I'm calling my number. <laughs> you're in my phone. I'm, my I'm calling what? while I'm here because I have the pizza. Charles, what are you going on about? I'm just doing a little bit over here. Okay. Don't mind. All right. <laughs> He's by himself. You know what? I, that's something I wanted to bring up because last uh, last week or a couple weeks ago when we did our first test podcast, what I didn't include in there was a conversation we had about what we thought we were going to be in the podcast in terms of stereotypes. I who honestly the, completely forget about who this Who is the funny one? Who is the, <laughs> who is the, funny one? Who is the sarcastic one? Who is the sensitive one? And on the way here, I was like, I think I feel like we could probably pull that off again now that we're two podcasts in. So who do you guys think is the funny one and the sensitive one and the dead one? I don't think we can have a dead one yet, actually. Uh, we'll I'll work that out, though. Nakil's kind of like the leader. He's the one, like... Like I said in the original one, he's the Thomas the Tank Engine. 
<laughs> leading Callbacks. us. Leading us. <laughs> that is true. Face. He's personally, the face of it. personally, I think Dave is the witty one. Charles is the sensitive one, and Ryan is the fourth Ghostbuster. The black one? <laughs> That's racist. No. no. I was going to say, I'm just the black guy who shows up every once in a while. It's like, well, hey, you got to start asking dude. questions. That's what the fourth ghost of the did. Kind of he, he literally... <laughs> Just go. like that. There you go. <laughs> but I think Ryan can make it way further than the fourth Ghostbuster in his one podcast appearance as of right now. That is true. But um... Ryan can definitely out-Ghostbuster Ernie Hudson. Ooh. Ghost... Fuck you, Ernie Hudson. Hey, uh... <laughs> I, mean, I like how you. Hashtag. I don't even know you. Ryan for Ryan versus Ernie Hudson. Do you, you guys know about? Oh no, wait. Who would win against Ernie Hudson and Ryan? Like in a fist fight or a ghost what, busting or, fight? Yeah, or a, fight. Uh, a question off. Who could question? <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> question off. I got. I already got the question that wins. What? What's the question? What's your winning question against Ernie Hudson? What is what? Ooh, oh, yeah. Hashtag I think what I, is what. another one would be, "What are you doing now, Ernie Hudson?" Yeah. <laughs> just, like, just, what are you <laughs> saying, <laughs> Ernie Hudson? What are you saying? Uh, he's probably prepping to do a cameo in the all-female version of Ghostbusters. I was about to bring that up because you I know think that he... that's not a continuation; it's a reboot. Yeah. No, really, it's a which reboot. means that's which means nice. they're not going to play their old characters. Anyone who comes back from the old Ghostbusters movie is going to be like be so someone random, new. Yeah. Oh, so I don't like that. So well, Ernie will literally probably be a questioning bank teller. I would say, <laughs> why do you need this much okay. money? Or if we're gonna go with stereotypes, he's gonna be the taxi driver. I'm just gonna oh, get say, scared by a skeleton. I'm just gonna say, <laughs> Melissa McCarthy makes me mad. She makes me mad. Yeah, I'm not why? Yeah, She's, um, I'm, I just, I'm not a fan. What? I didn't like her in the first movie I saw with her in it, which was Bridesmaid. Never saw that one. I honestly, okay, I saw Bridesmaids. It was fun. one night. It was one night. I was at home and I was like, you know what? It's on pay per view. Everyone's hyping this up. So I and my dad's Everyone's like, hyping it up. Really? Oh, dude, who so, hyped up, who hyped up Bridesmaids? So many girls that I talked to were like, "Oh my god!" Okay, no, I can agree with you. The reason why I saw it is because I saw it with like a group of girls and two guy friends, and they were like, "You gotta see Bridesmaids. It's gonna be hilarious." And I'm like, the only other chick book I've seen that was hilarious was Mean Girls, and then they were like, "Oh, it's written by some of the same people." And I, like, all right, you sold me. So I went to the theater, and there's a scene not spoiling. Uh, Brad Dude, it's been, it. no it's been out for no one. No one cares. Okay, it's been no out one for a couple cares years. About it. And if 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 you still care about it and you want to see it, you should have seen it a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, die. Okay, when so Melissa hype, McCarthy. This, out of here. this is only going to cement Ryan's hate for Melissa McCarthy. But Melissa McCarthy uh, has weird bear sex with uh, some random dude on a plane, like an uh, uh, air marshal me. from I an have airplane. A question. What, a, what is bear sex? I'll, I'll explain. So they had a sub sandwich. It was like a long foot long sub sandwich and the bear like skinned bear or something, like one that you would put as a rug under like a fireplace or something like that. It was, it was, she was wearing it around her neck and there was a sub. What was... scene is this? I do not remember this <laughs> one. This is not fucking... Bridesmaids. It is bridesmaids. No, it's not. Is it? How much a... do you want to? You know what, Dave? I will. You don't have the power you. to check it out. I will challenge you on this because that is a scene in bridesmaids, and the reason why is it I know during is the end credits. It's during the end credits. Okay, then yes, I know exactly what scene you're talking about. That's what made me leave the theater and be like, that—that that was the last thing they decided to end that movie on. That is what they wanted people to leave the theater on. You know how Marvel movies end with post-credit scenes where it's like, Ooh, can't wait for the next one. They ended it with Melissa McCarthy. Having weird animal sandwich sex with some dude with a '70s porn mustache, and it looked like a home movie. And I was like, "Are you sure this is the same movie?" Well, you don't talk about I don't think that was. I don't think they actually filmed that or knew that was going. On. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy was just like Sneak. the only way you're getting me in this movie it is if I get to have weird sex. '70s sandwich bear sets with that one dude with the '70s porn mustache who's a gaffer on set. Gaffer, <laughs> the best boy. He's the best boy I've ever seen. And like, Melissa, please. Uh, <laughs> look, you're you're sort of funny. It's 2010. I'm we just just do the movie. We won't do any of that. It's like, no, no. I'm gonna blow up. <laughs> you wait. This is my shot. <laughs> this is my big break. And it's like, could you just break instead? Just like into pieces. Like, go the fuck away. <laughs> I don't like her. I just find all her characters are the same. They are all the same. Yes. She is. She is the. Female Kevin James. Oh, I agree. Oh. I agree. Oh my that god, is, that's, that that's a, a big great revelation. Analogy. I, I did not even think. And I fucking hate Kevin James. Ooh. Okay, well, okay. I like King played, of Queens. Yeah, I was just about to say King of Queens is. <laughs> no, King did of Queens is trash. 
I would, oh, if I got the Ryan. opportunity, I would. Ryan. If I got the opportunity, <laughs> I would Charles show is getting up Kevin and James. Charles has gotten up and left. <laughs> Did you not see the King of Queens episode where Ray Romano shows up and Adam Sandler? Yeah. Well, thank you for tuning in to this special edition of the. It's the regular Tuesday podcast. We're doing it on a Tuesday. Dave, stop lying. Anymore. Okay, we lying. we told them we don't record it on Tuesday. Yeah, on, on the, the first, first episode, and uh, you're the one who outed us. <laughs> Are we recording? We are recording. Okay. Hey, <laughs> so, hey, let's go around and explain who everyone is so that we we don't spoil the surprise. I'm Malky Cabrera. We got we got over there on the other side. We got, we got who are you looking at? Me? I'm looking, I'm looking, looking at me? Looking. Little old me, Charles Alpha, go for you. <laughs> and I'm Dave Weir. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that nice of an intro, but I'm I'm ordering everyone pizza so they can all go suck a nut. And um, today we have a special guest. His yeah. name is. Ryan. Oh! I sound like Patrick Starr sometimes. <laughs> that's that's actually on his resume. It is on my resume. Sounds like Patrick. Kathy like Lee told me to take Star. it off. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> so by the well, <laughs> Dave, maybe stop asking questions under your breath. Sorry, I just I didn't want it to be. I'm okay. I'm ordering a pizza. Want to make sure everyone's thirsty, like that's thirsty. Dave's either. very considerate. I'm always so thirsty. So now, who wants pizza? Thirsty, yeah, yeah. I'm always we thirsty. already we already decided on the pizza. We're going to. But, but who wants pizza? I'm asking, just in general, for everybody. There's, Dave's paying. There's no no. <laughs> you can't say no to pizza. It's no true. Pizza. That's like sacrilegious. You know what? Do we need blasphemy. two pizzas? I don't no, know. Probably not. Well, I mean, that's clearly enough for me, but I don't know about the rest of you. Okay, we're gonna do. One. Well, I mean, I could put a full pizza back, but I'm not going I to. I think all of us could. Yeah. Yeah. So four. So, so four, four pizzas, four pizzas. Okay, so we're going four pizzas. pizzas. Uh, All right. This is compelling stuff right here. All, All right. on Dave. I'm going to make it. Anyways. I made, I made an extra. <laughs> okay, okay. I made an extra. Anyways. Uh, yeah, so we had our first podcast already. That was pretty well received. Dave Dave was uh, walking with me in the hallways. He was like, if this reaches 100 views in a week, I'll, I forgot what you're, you're doing. I, I, I'd well, be very surprised. Last, last time, time I checked, it was at like 66. Honestly, Ooh. I checked today, and it was uh, almost, it was almost at 80. Like, we're in like two days. Ooh, now. And That's uh, insane. But like, how many times have you guys been watching this? Just I've only watched it. I'd like, you're, it only counts if you go all the way through, I think. Oh, really? yeah. no, it yeah. doesn't. It does. It counts no if you way. go all the way through, because like, it'll garner as a view, but it won't be registered as a view until someone goes all the way through. So it'll say like 66, but then if you go back like later in the day, it'll say 63 because no one finished that mm. video, right? Uh, okay. So they only it only registers when you go all the way through. So Ryan counts as a full view. Hey. Ryan listened to it <laughs> all the way through. Because I'm just a good guy. First. <laughs> which is why what if you like? What if you stop? Like you're listening and then you stop. And then you come back to it? And you come it? back to it and resume. And no, then that's... stop again, and then because that's what I did. I think that would count as. I cannot listen. Like I do not like to listen to us. <laughs> well, no, I, I sound like. That's assholes. good that someone on the podcast doesn't like listening to the podcast. That's that's, that's a, a great sign. That's a great. <laughs> yeah. That's a great take on it. That's, you know, I believe in that. That's what you want. All right. Anyway, so by the time this comes out, it will have been a whole week without a podcast because I'm not releasing it regularly. You. Yeah, what about the last one we recorded? That one came out. What's this week? No, not the first one. We did oh, the a last second one, one. The last one we recorded was uh, the the audio was kind of crap. So okay, it's not so let's just forget mean, about that. Yeah, you mean our awesome Ghostbusters, uh, our awesome Ghostbusters review is not in there. Goosebumps. Ghostbusters, it's Goosebumps. Ghost Beach. Well, technically, since no one has heard it, it could have been about anything. So. <laughs> Whoa, Dave. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Halloween passed. How was Halloween, you guys? Oh, fuck. How was Halloween for you guys? I love uh, that Ryan and Sleep just like, oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Ew, we don't want to talk about that. I'm not talking about my Halloween. You're not talking about your Halloween? I already know. I'm just right. like, cut it out. I'll, I'll talk about my Halloween. It's not interesting. <laughs> How was your Halloween? I stayed at home. Uh, I ate candy, and no one showed Always. up at my house. So really? it was like a regular I found, trick or treat. I found Tuesday. that it was really slow for on the Halloween front, like trick or treating. Oh, yeah. Because it was since raining. Like, since like 2008, it's been shitty. Well, and plus it since was on I a stopped. Saturday. So yeah, since I stopped. <laughs> since I stopped, Halloween hasn't been the same. Yeah, it's not Yeah, I, 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 honestly, I would agree. Like, like back in the day, did you guys just love like Halloween? Because you had that party at school. Oh, yeah. And oh, you yeah. got to dress up in your costume. And then you went on like, did you guys like my elementary school, we had a parade. Okay. Oh yeah, where I've done, yeah, like, I've done that before. Like, Each like, grade, where it was like kindergartners to grade like three, 
because grade four kids, that's too when cool. you that's when you get to that age yeah, where you're yeah. like nine to ten. You're like, nah, I'm too cool. Nah, I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna take a. I'm not gonna smile when I take a picture with Santa because Santa's not real. Fuck I didn't know. Whoa. 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 Even I caught myself Whoa. and was like, wow, I just ruined some kid's day. But if a kid is yeah. listening to this, your parents need to like. You need to reevaluate. Right you need to reevaluate. <laughs> teaching methods the parenting methods all right so i'm placing an order it's an extra large cup of <laughs> dave's, dave's that obviously is not starving. A segue. Dave's that is starving. not a segue dave that doesn't you know happen. what you know what is a segue have you guys heard about that fan theory that like the new star wars fan theory no, no. apparently jar jar binks was no. like no i don't want to hear i'm it. already done with it. Done <laughs> but like the thing is no. jar jar you, binks you said the word that is basically star wars cancer and you can't <laughs> say that and then expect someone to want to listen to it afterwards that is true but jar jar binks <laughs> is apparently Stop. like a sith lord that is the theory oh and he's on. i know how that's dumb equivalent is... to like everyone making theories about I can take that. and he was like apparently he's like 